Just suck. Oh, Fuck. My... What a start. You what a brilliant start. Don't <laughs> prove it's not doing there. Well, welcome back, guys. Um, wow. In an incredible introduction to the video, as always. Um, You're welcome, bro. Thanks. Thanks, honey. Uh, so. Awkward. Ouch. What happened last time? I don't remember. I remember a uh, lot. Old bitch we fixed a vampire. Yeah. We fixed a vampire. That is what happened. Mm -hmm. You guys. Uh, all of you, in fact, but a good portion of you. Basically found out or worked out and used magical means. And also, yes, means to be able to bring back a rather unwell to put it lightly ancient vampire vampire that is the wife of of judas who is the vampire spirit oh gosh who is the vampire spirit that inhabited the robot known as onyx that used to be in the party but got killed by insert stupid name that morgan came up with What's his name? Great. I don't know. <laughs> was that Druyutha Quas? Oh, that shut up. <laughs> he got killed by Morgan. Druyutha Quas. Also good. So. Besides, free me. No, nothing. Oh yeah. So, Ruby was returned, and you guys kind of figured out a bit of your plans as well in, in kind of the prior sessions. Session. Um, know your kind of goals and your what you're aiming for and went off to have a little meal while Eleanor and Ruby went off to also have a little meal. Now, what we're going to do now is going to have a little bit of a theatre of the mind. Well, okay. hold up one second. <laughs> Because a funny thing happens. Elodor does come back. She drops a child on the table. I'm going to go take a nap. If any of you bother me, you're my next meal. Why don't we let Reuben... So, Grab. that occurs. And then we're going to go theater of mind to explain what the heck that was. Eleanor and Ruby left the castle at a breakneck speed, quicker than most birds of prey can fly. They traveled out of the grain rift and into the uh, farmland kind of village area that that kind of encompasses the space just south of the grain rift, south east of the grain rift. A few things occurred. We'll put it like that. But they both decided to instead travel to the the site of which a weird earthquake occurred not but a few kind of months ago. Mm -hmm. In Orion's Keep which some of the party will know, is the location that a earthquake bomb, in essence, was dropped onto it. This is also the place that some of the party were held captive by the theocracy of Ephelor to be their sort of uh, suicide squad. Sorry, wait, no, that's copyrighted. Um, there. Uh, no life squad. Unalive. Unalive. Unalive unit. Unalive unit. Nice. Uh, They're self and contingent. <laughs> this. Actually, I think, I think you can use suicide squad. Self-harm battalion. Yeah, I know, but. 
Mas funny bit. You're fine. Um, <laughs> I'm a live unit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a live unit. Uh, this once huge prison full of potentially thousands of prisoners destroyed by one single bomb was a wreckage. And Lauren Ruby, at a distance, kind of peeking over a little hill, going, ooh, oh yes, that's that's a wreckage. Snuck their way in. With the knowledge that was g gained a couple of sessions ago, I cannot remember for the life of me who by or what by, that... I remember now. It was gained by... Uh, Thilu and oh. Maribel, the, the Skull Talking Squad, gained the information that one of the main bases for the werewolves is in the center of this continent, which was surmised to be Narayan's Keep. Arriving there, and with a couple of quite stupidly good roles, They came across, or rather, somebody else came across, a gem. So to set a bit of a scene here, inside of the wreckage are about 30 guards. Not guards, kind of workers. They're sort of just picking up rubble, trucking it about, trying to see if they can find, like, anything of worth. And one by one, as Eleanor is kind of walking up into the middle, sneaking up into the middle, she hears the as the bodies are quite literally dropping around her. Ruby eventually kills the final guard as Eleanor arrives at them to see them holding a large red ruby uh, about a foot in size half a foot kind of diameter and when the two of them placed their hands upon it and kind of channeled their way in in essence they teleported into a I forgot what it's called What's it called? Oh my gosh. Words salute me. Extra pocket direction. Realm. Pocket realm, that's the word. They tra tra traveled into the pocket realm. This pocket realm is a dark, dingy, tortured prison chamber of sorts. <laughs> There's about six cells, each of them with a number of skeletons, about two skeletons in each cell. Torture equipment on every single wall. You've got, like, uh, what's it called? Flaying racks? I think that's the word. Like, just standing there on the sides. And then two large glass cylinders. Inside of one a semi-translucent, semi-incorporeal aquin. Inside the other is a small, weirdly, um, almost infirm, slightly distorted-looking child. Both of them encased in this glass. There's a werewolf sitting there, Asleep, quite an old looking werewolf. It was almost instantly cut down. Almost instantly. After quite the intense uh <laughs> now I'm gonna backtrack that. Releasing the to the glass storage that Hakun was stored in. Liquid began to pour out and 
the translucent soul began to almost drain away. It sort of fell down to the ground and began to dissolve or dis disapparate. Eleanor threw in the shell that was given to her by Nimue that contained a part of Huckwind's soul and threw it in. A few seconds pass, and the, so the soul combined with the shell seemed to abs be absorbed into the cell, sucked in until there was nothing of Huckwin left, just the shell necklace. And as Eleanor reached in to grab it, it crumbled to pieces dissolving into nothing but just fragments and shards. Disheartened and disappointed, she began to reach in and grab the pieces. Where she found a small pearl, perfect and pristine, laying amongst the shards. Ruby, with a strange power she didn't really understand, spoke to Eleanor and said, Inside of that appears to be this soul of Huckwin, um, except he's being sucked downwards, then towards, you know, the shadow fell. It's going to hell. He's going to hell. Oh, not that again. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, that's right. We're doing another hell season. Zarakos return. Um. Yeah. After a. Five minute mad rush around with Eleanor trying everything she can to save the soul, trying to work out what she could possibly do. Asking Ruby if Huckwin soul could be stored inside of her body. In essence, asking to for Huckwin to replace her. Sounds like some Freaky Friday shit. It really sounds like some Freaky Friday <laughs> Pretty much. They looked over to the small, slightly deformed looking child. Oh. Released it. From the... Glass... Uh, stasis that it was in. And placed the gem... Oh, the blood! Gosh, I'd forgotten about the blood. Placing the pearl, sorry, slight, slight sub point. Took the pearl, placed it in the blood vial that Huckwin had. That when Huckwin died, was left in his pile of ash. Completely forgot about that part. Placed it inside of there, and it seemed to have some sort of stabilization effect. So Huckwin's descent was slowing down at that point. It was still happening. Just slow. still happening. Slow. Back to this point. They took the vial, now with a pearl inside, and poured half of it, as well as the pearl, into the child's mouth. Who, by the way, has just been standing there, just staring at Eleanor, and then turning and looking straight at Ruby, not having any emotion, no character just pure blank yeah pure pure neutral ruby watching as the pearl was poured in says to Eleanor well I don't see his soul 
didn't suck down any further. So I think it's inside of that. To which point they quickly left the uh, uh wh why am i forgetting pocket the name dimension. pocket dimension thank you and hastily withdrew from narayan's keep towards gabrielle's castle mm -hmm. with a flesh golem containing the soul of Huckwin, completed soul of Huckwin, but with no, why is there bang? <laughs> with no form to actually my, call. Ruben, it's my anger. Up. That's the bang. You must be really angry. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? Guy? Why did you scream? So, at the end of your meal, as you're standing inside of Gab sitting inside of Gabriel's castle, playing cards or playing <laughs> dice, eating food, having a merry old time, Eleanor and Ruby return and, in essence, dump a child on you. And by a child, I mean a completely emotionless, not zombie, but zombie. Is Ruby still in the room? Oh yeah. Like like obviously Eleanor has like disturbed me and I kill you. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, Ruby's Ruby kind of walks in, like kind of half holding her head. She just sort of goes up to Gabrielle. How how big is the homunculus? <laughs> uh he's he's really weirdly and evidently not it looks like a kind of 15 ish year old child but it's also so um it's, it's so weak that you're like this could be older but it just lo it looks horrible <laughs> Wait, so as, as, as they just come walking back with a fucking child who looks horrible, has no emotion, have they yep. said anything? Mm -hmm. Eleanor said she was going to bed. Yeah, disturb her and you'll be her next meal. Um, she she just chucked a child on 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 the, the table. table left. Yeah, is it a, is <laughs> on, awake? On, on, on. Is it a is it awake? Is it awake? Uh, it's just staring at each of you. It just kind of. Oh, also, uh, can I can I just add a little bit for anybody who's got an inside of fifteen or higher? Uh, I think I do. Uh, oh, oh no. Yeah. Yes. I yeah. Do. I do. Uh, Eleanor looks like a massive weight has been lifted off her shoulders. <laughs> anyway. So, uh, uh, okay. This is, this is, Before before anything, can I go over and make sure the child thing is okay? <laughs> like, not yeah. like physically okay? <laughs> uh, there is a stab wound on its hand. Yes, there is a stab wound. Oh, okay. It looks like it's not really been patched up, and it's not bleeding. It's just a hole. Just a stab. Food? Hang on. There's a bit of a slice. Um, do you want to make a medicine check? Probably feeling. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go about two my rations and like hand it to the kid if he wants any. Maribel will stop you. Um, okay. I don't know what this thing is yet. But twenty-eight. I'm sure it does. Uh, I rolled okay. a nineteen. <laughs> then I my plus nine. Uh. You, you walk up to it, uh, kind of look into its eyes, kind of check its face, see if you can get any response from it. And let's be fair, 
big old spider comes up to you and stares at your face. Oh. Would usually get a reaction. No reaction whatsoever. And it's at that point that you realize it's not breathing, it's not like blinking, it's not acting like a humanoid does. There's no it, response. It is, it, a, just... it is a live, but not constitute as living. Maribel, so anything. Maribel will ask Filu if its heart is beating. Uh, I, I, mean, I put it, my hand over it, its yeah. chest and look at you go, no. Though it's blinking at me. Well, not blinking, but it's staring at me. I don't... Are there undead corpse among us, then? It, it, it is alive, but I don't think it is living in the same degree that we are. Yeah. Maybe, well, it doesn't, it looks like it, it's just like a soulless person, that's what it looks like. At that point, happen. Ruby will probably come over. Uh, not soulless per se, just soul sword, soul storage. Who's the... Uh, the... 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 Huck, huck, what? Huck when? Maribel will just raise an eyebrow as far as it will go. I think we'll look at Maribel and like, it's not the guy that you guys were with ages ago. But it's sort of... it... as far as I can tell, very temporary, just sort of... Storage thing. So this thing is storing his soul. Did you find him like this? Honestly, we should just say yes, because I don't We we sort of put it together, and this is what we got. You know. So that's. Was this a child before, like a normal child? No, it was it was an old man before. I'm sorry, is that sarcasm? Is yes, that... that is sarcasm. But like, yeah. was this a normal child of any? Am I? I don't know. You... <laughs> you... I can't I tell what's sarcasm or not anymore because everything is just all fucking wacky. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes. and it's. Kind of believable that it could be, judging we don't exactly know the rules at play here. I mean, we sort of found this and then him and just went, eh, and I put them together. And that's what's happened here. You know what? I mean, it's happened. And it's now it's whatever at this point. just kind of looks like a thing. Well, that's gross. Yes, we'll have to keep him Chicken safe. Up. Chip poke his face. But I'm being yes, we'll have to keep it in our care. Mm. I mean, Perhaps our... cover it with a cloth. <laughs> up staring at us. Please do. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll go. Uh, um, I'll, 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 I'll question. My spare cloak is it? Me. Is it wearing clothes? Yes, it's wearing yes, clothes. Okay. But yes. Very basic. Okay. Um, I was just making sure. Do like, you think uh, it would be best to return him back to? It's not wearing evening. clothes. It's wearing a cloth. <laughs> wearing whitey tighties. Um, what do you think would be best to return this? I don't know. This, let's just call it this chest. There you go. Back to our main, you know, the main base back in uh, wherever the fuck is called. Mr. Well, Trunk, that, keep it with that's us. where we we're heading next. Yeah. So. Is wait, who's who's even at the home? Is it isn't it like goblin or whatever? Goblin, brothers. God. Yeah. And Tui. Wait. Tui. If if you I want to. Tui. Your girl. Tui's great. It's her. My back. Griffin. Oh, you. I think you girlfriend. I was like, wait a second. Where the fuck does that happen? No. 
Griffin. Whenever we are doing stuff, we. Get Bogart, whatever the fuck it actually looks to be considered. But we don't. I don't know. We should we keep him nearby? But yeah, yeah. put him in the ranger, but then it would also keep us nearby him. Well, what what, what time is it? Uh, it's. It's. Uh. Let me think. It's probably it coming to morning. I think, like. The thing about vampires, they kind of don't work in the day. So I mean, your body clock is really right, whack. Right, is out of character. Morning. So, mm -hmm. you know when you put stuff in the mirror, time stops them, right? As in, like, they don't age, nothing degrades. Couldn't you technically mm -hmm. just put this person in it and then it would be technically a permanent one? Uh, as long as well, it's. The, well, one, the mirror isn't destroyed, and two, it's not then removed. Yeah, it could stay. But it also depends on what Eleanor has planned. Also, so I think there's no clue there's mirrors, so... I'm gonna go... Yeah. Maribel stands and she says, I'm gonna go get Eleanor. If I'm her next to me, it means it's another Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, it is another Tuesday. Damn, you right. Well, um... And Maribel will go off to rouse Eleanor and tell her to sleep in her own goddamn bed uh, <laughs> when we get home. Because <laughs> the I... irony, she is in her goddamn bed. <laughs> she is kind of in her own goddamn bed. <laughs> when we get home, because we're kind of in a rush to save Angela's friend. On which note, we what kind of say to the rest of the party as Maribel goes. You could leave the thing with us, if you wish. There are, in case you couldn't tell, a good portion of vampires here that won't get anything out of a golem, so it would be safe. And we will make sure it's protected. It's up to Eleanor. Okay. In which case, whenever she wakes up, or whenever you go, we can sort that out. I'm going to go drink now. Um, a lot. Oh boy. The Ruby just kind of turns, walks off, and just grabs the closest drink, even if someone's holding it. Devanus is finally trying to get a drink, and she just takes off him. <laughs> oh, if it if Devanus is there with a the drink, he will. She will. Oh, uh, fucking fuck. <laughs> yeah, we were we were so distracted by the child. Devanus trying to seek sneak a drink game. Thank you. Uh, Enjoy it, miss. Yeah. Enjoy. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna attempt to talk to her. Just just to gauge if it has any reaction or it's just staring. Very intently at everybody. Yeah, go ahead. I, I, I get down as low as I can as if to not intimidate the thing because God knows if I know if it is intimidated mm -hmm. by the by the hulking fucking spider. And then the hulking people behind it. <laughs> and I'm or average at least size. It, Devonis is average size. I, I think it's I, I think it's mostly Maribel and, and Philu that are on the tall, yeah. And you are, they're on the tall side. Tall. Maribel's seven foot, right? Maribel's gone. She's gone to get Ella. How tall? Yeah, yeah. How tall? Seven, seven feet tall. Yeah. yeah. And then you have Miss Eight Foot One, like Eight Foot Two over here, so I'm like... Yeah. Like, even get when you down sit down, you're still probably six foot, because, you know, you can't exactly sit down like humans, can you? You still got that. I can do a weird little spread out thing. Feel yeah, like just doing be this. Very tall though, and like... <laughs> <laughs> no. It's what I do to people in battle, but. Hey, on, I do have a question. Mm -hmm. Um. You you say how this child creature thing is like staring at everyone? Is its eyes moving to everyone, or is it just staring straight forward? It's staring at whoever last talked. Okay. So if there's a moment of silence, it will be like Philo just said, I'm going to talk to the child. It's just that, it, like, head moved, eyes forward, it's, just watching. It's looking Fili. at me. 
like watching her in your eyes, just kind of listening. Cute, it's just Mark dead Kirito. <laughs> yeah. Look at Elf. Uh, yeah. Kind of. Yeah, he just looks on yeah. the noises and shit. Okay, cool. Just checking. Right. I get down as low as possibly can. Mm -hmm. Basically doing a, a spider head. sit. Nope. Don't want to see that, Evan. <laughs> see, what I imagine is just like the legs are just spread out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And she's just sitting, quote quote. Oh my fucking god, do not search spread in fucking gif. Just do no, not. don't. What the? Do not. I was searching. Okay, was... yep, 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 shut up. <laughs> she's just skyboshing that right now. <laughs> yep. Felu very gently takes the child's. in quotation marks. Mm -hmm. Child's hand. I realize all this could be a little unsettling, but are you okay? You can squeeze my hand if you can't speak, but you are safe. Like, to re reassure the child that it is safe. Yeah. And yeah. not. Totally, totally safe. Mm -hmm. Didn't get stabbed once it was born. Well, I fixed it. Yeah. The child, it's... there is no, nothing there now. The child, there's no stab wound. True. There's no response. There's no reaction. It just is staring at you. In Like, literally in your eyes, just staring at you. Okay. Unblinking, unbreathing, unmoving, just there. I, I look around to everyone else in the room. As much as I love little surprises, this one's a little unnerving. I don't even, I don't even know what to think about this. Castle full of vampires and a kid who doesn't talk is the thing that unnerves you. I mean, look, it's... It is unbreathing, unmoving, mm. unto it, it's just staring, Tavanas. Don't get me wrong, it's weird. Devonis. Not the weirdest thing I've yeah, seen today. Like, uh, yeah, true, but you know, it is a bit odd having just a random chi child with nothing. It's just, a, it's just a, it's like if you just strip everything away from the person and just have a basic cognitive functions. And that's it. I, I give a little shrug. Are you hungry? It surely the move right? just stares at you. Give it food, maybe? Like, I well, that's what I'm trying to gauge. I mean, maybe you have to give it food for it to, you know, you have to command it, maybe? Maybe you can command? I don't know. I don't even know what this thing is, Alec. I'm not going to give it orders. I think we just... I mean, it's not breathing, what? but it probably doesn't need food. Probably not, but it's, it's a child. I don't know My what. first response is, is it, it, it looks like... Well, I don't know the basics of whatever this thing is, but it looks like a I child. Know. I spent most of my life in the fucking desert. I've never seen anything like this before. And you think I have? <laughs> I know, you all want to live in a vampire castle, not me. This is a first for me, if you believe it or not. I mean, I definitely believe it because it's an odd situation, but like, like you need to know more. I, I think hey, we just wait for Angela Eleanor here? to come back. <laughs> Angela's sitting in the corner like, I ain't Angela, touching that. Are you with, are you with us? Okay. Uh, Angela. Yeah, I'm here. Um, Angela, do you know anything about this? Because it seems magical. Oh, doesn't seem like a natural thing. Exactly a magical encyclopedia, dude. I don't, I don't know you everything know about the arcane. Have a look at it, I suppose. I just love Angela going, dude. Dude. Uh, 
Dude. Bruh. Like, that figure totally has no fucking clue what the hell. Uh, yeah, if you wanna make, wanna make, uh, wanna make a nice. Arcana track, you can. And uh, I, I would like to do the ten, yeah. Yeah, do the ten. I wonder what, uh, what I mean, uh, Loki, what is that view looking like right now? I wanna, I wanna... Uh, that is a 27. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, Amir is kind of just standing there, just almost having like a staring contest at this thing, just confused and not knowing what to do. Man's losing that staring contest. Yeah, you blinked a couple yes. times, my bud. <laughs> oh yeah. It's like, yeah, no, 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 but that doesn't count. That didn't count. It's fine. Yeah, there's something wrong with that time. <laughs> yeah. We've got a 27 for our kind of... Uh, okay. Uh, you, you kind of, you know what a, what a, what a goat is. You mm -hmm. know, they're, they're quite useful to, if, if you can learn how to make them and how to use them, they're quite useful because they can do all the work that you don't want to do, which, you know, is not nice. it's lazy. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, you, you kind of, you now sit there and think, oh, well done. That's what the purple wizard does. He's made flesh golems incredibly well that exactly suit his purpose to be different versions of himself. And those are all of his different servants, each mm -hmm. with slightly different personalities. This is a really badly made version of one of them. Okay. Real bad. Yo, whoever the fuck made this was, was not vibing. Uh, you'd also know they don't need to eat, they don't need to breathe, they don't need to drink, they don't need to they sleep. Don't need to they they're... just exist. They're just slaves. They do what they're told by their master. Just slaves. Alright, well... Uh, once Angel explains everything about this... Yo, they're making slaves thing. Now. <laughs> Let's just leave it until Eleanor comes back. She found it, and Ruby has <laughs> vanished. So probably best if we just let let it be. until we know what to do. Mm. Yeah, that's probably best. I mean, at least we know we don't have to give any special attention. We should have to keep it safe. You just have to deal with it staring you down whenever you speak. <laughs> because you bag, put a bag over its head. You're not putting a bag over its head. I mean, it's... I mean, I'm guessing you told us all of that, Angela, right? What kind of what this thing is? Yeah. I mean, look, unless at least be happy that it wasn't actually a child before it. Well, I assume it wasn't. Or maybe it was a dead child, but like, at least, you know, we know that they didn't cause this to happen. Like, you know, uh, it was this before we, they put the Hagrid Soul in it. So. Will be me. But, look, I mean, like I said, best thing to do now, keep it safe. Uh, I guess the place in Mistress Farm will probably be the best place. Well, we can't uh, protect it if we leave it there. At one point, at what point, did Maribel come back down with Eleanor? Because I do need to be a part of this. Yes. Uh, sorry, was that that both of you come back? Yes. Okay. Cool. Um, Neve, are you here? Hello. I saw you come off mute, but I can't hear you. Yeah. That's yeah. Your, sound. You, your mic is just. <laughs> so you sound like um 
silence. Yes. <laughs> this... Oh, 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 oh that's that... something. Did that work? Oh, yeah. 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 Do I sound okay? Uh, pardon? Do I sound okay? Yeah. 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 Good. Because my phone just died. Ah. Oh. Nice. Okay. Um. Alright, I don't know if you heard what was going on. Yeah, I did. Okay. Um. As I said, Maribel will say, I'm going to let Eleanor decide what we do with it. Well, it has Huck's soul on it. Do you... It would be well protected here. But I understand what to keep it close. I mean... Trust this place. It was hard enough to find the first time around. But has this place has been attacked before? It's the stronghold of pretty much all vampires on the continent. If, if this place gets attacked, then the vampires were weaker than we thought they were. I mean, this this place can be attacked all at once, but I doubt it's going to go down. Mm. <laughs> I mean, uh, you guys told me that the well was on my touch screen, right? No. No? No. I can't remember, okay. Because I'm trying to, because you told me about Hulk Grin. I can't remember, wait, I got an idea. You sent me a PM, didn't you? You got to look through that. Anyways, what's the decision? I'd say don't leave him here. Works for me. Doesn't exactly bleed properly, so nobody will make a meal out of him. That's what Ruby said. One less thing for us to worry about while we tie up loose ends. Yeah, we've got to look after your brothers. Speaking of which, where are they? They're, They're in the mistress. Mist yeah. Pop tard. Um, there was pop. Bob Todd. Didn't Bob Todd say he was gonna eat them? No, he was gonna eat the snakes. I was gonna to kill him then, if he did. Oh, I swear he then he made a joke. He, 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 was, I, he was joking. I, I, I was about to say, did he not scrunch some snakes already? Yes. I gave orders to protect my brothers while I was away. I highly doubt he would, you know, go against that and potentially get his ass whooped. <laughs> Um, so we if we are decided, then we are leaving. You can stay in the way if you need to, Eleanor. I just wanted for one, one time to just sleep in a comfy bed. You'll get I... one it's when we get back. It's morning, to be fair, so that would be sleeping time for you. Normally as a vampire. <laughs> Listen, Ethic, I have lived... I was up to count, but I... <laughs> I don't care. I'm answering you in character. You've lived on your schedule for a while. I don't think I've ever slept through the entire day. Anyways. Fine, I'll sleep in the carriage. Just no one bothers me. Rose bring a comfortable bed on the carriage. I we're not gonna do that. Um I doubt there's that much room, my dude. Anyways, we we are leaving. Everybody gather up, we're heading outside. Yep, it's been a pretty interesting stay here. I can say that at least. Always is. Mm-hmm. Eleanor will go find uh, her captain quickly and tell her that she's leaving. <laughs> now, would, would, I have a question for the party. Mm -hmm. Would you have an issue if I brought the the other two of my pets along? No. No no okay. one really has an issue with that. I mean, Amir had some fucking dog. Yeah, he's, he's got Bruce. Yeah, who's, I, I, we don't even know where he is. Das is Bruce. 
Um, I think Bruce just kind of follows me around, so wherever I am, Bruce is near. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking fucking eye, you know. Who has a high intelligence of both me and Devanus. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> more pets, she says. Maribel thinks more tactical advantages. <laughs> I would say that, but well, at least Tui and, and Kylum are babies still, so I don't know how because how quickly those enemy. two grow up. I'm not throwing my babies at the end. <laughs> All right. Well, tactical once grenades. Once Eleanor is done saying her goodbyes, and once Philo has all her pets, we're gonna open up the carriage and head back to Mistress Fount. Okay. Just see Philo carrying a rather chunky <laughs> owlbear baby. <laughs> yep. My I love Miss Chunky. <laughs> So, you gather up all of your things, all of your bits, say whatever goodbyes you wish. I think we'll go in as the usual spot on the roof now and sit on the roof of the cabin whenever we go on it. Yeah. yeah. And... Oh boy. I'm surprised that image is out there to be honest, that's actually pretty cool. And you begin your travel back to <laughs> Mistress Fountain. It takes a couple of days. Um, about two or three days to, to get there, so, mm. you know, you can kind of have your various, mm, not, not nice sleeps, but Great. sleeps. Quick question. Um, yeah? So, I remember when we first traveled in the Grey Rift, wasn't there, like, something that was stopping us from flying over it? There was. I'll be right back. I gotta feed the cat. Because that's why you walked in the first place, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but I forget. So then we would we would make our way on foot out of the Grand Rift and safe to fly. Yeah. yeah. So two or three days. It took us two days to get here. We forgot about that part, but I just say. We're, yeah, we're, the, the amount of times that you guys have flown in here and flown out, <laughs> like, we'll, well, you we'll forget them. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, let's let's try not to forget that because that is pretty cool. Like if we need to go in the Grey Rift and we can't fly, that's like a. I mean, I, uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm more meant like we'll forget the, <laughs> the reminder of that aspect that it exists. Yeah, I um, because the carriage, it it doesn't allow flight, in the sense of in air flight, on ground flight. That's when we stay low. Okay, oh, yes. Up. You stay low, you're still going the same speed, because <laughs> you can be off like, like the ground by 5-10 feet, mm. and still go the same speed. So it still takes two days, but... Yeah. Two, three days. So yeah, you arrive back, Mr. Spout, chatting your way in on a flying carriage, just landing into the, uh, into the garden. Yep. Back to your new home. Uh, doesn't look like it's destroyed, thankfully, considering you know you left it in the capable hands of Pogda. Um So yeah, welcome home. You guys have made it back to your garden. Everything looks pretty normal. Nothing looks out of the ordinary as you travel your way through the city. Would you say we arrive in the morning or the evening? Uh. Yeah, just call it like midday-ish, like 12, 3 o'clock, somewhere in that ballpark. For now, we're going to split up, and uh, Angela is definitely going to head towards Purple Wizard's Tower, or, or whatever. Um, would you like any company? I wouldn't mind it, All right. but it's not like we're going to do anything. Or, I mean, I know. Unless he's released and causes the death of the entire world, of course. Mm -hmm. um, nothing, don't go to that. Um, okay, uh, while An uh, Angela goes off, uh, I guess um, we're all just going to find our inner peace at home. Um, I would go show Oh, I'm meditating. <laughs> 
Or I don't know how many days it's been since I hired. Not enough, not enough. It's like, what, what is it, monthly payment or weekly? I think it's monthly. Yeah. So. And plus, it would take me a while when you could quite to even earn much money to buy anything, so. Okay. So, uh. Yeah, if, if, if anyone can, uh, can figure out. Um, thinks of anything they wish to do, uh, let me know. But in the meantime, Angela, mm -hmm. you, uh, was anyone going with Angela, sorry? It's up to them. Oh. I think she's going solo. Yeah. Solo. Okay. This can't be a deal. Uh, yes, Angela, you kind of land uh, on the ship, sort of nod to Maribel and make your way over to the purple wizard's castle mansion. Maribel. Maribel's just going to check on the brothers. That's what she'll be doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you make your way in. At this point, again, you're known by these guys, so there's no issue. If you just flying your way in, you get to the top of the stairs, jump off your... Uh, Flying throne, knowing that it all before it fucking it doesn't starts working. Yep, and walk your way in to say hi to your new best pal. He's, he's amazing, and he is just sitting there looking at you. Ah, my good uh, little apprentice of sorts. Good to see you. Good to see you well. It's good to see you as well. I need some help with some with finding someone. Finding someone. Uh, interesting. Who? What type no. of uh, issue is this? Do you not find them yourself? No, because the last time we tried to find them, all we could see was one big eye staring back. Right. One big eye. You're a very interesting group of individuals. I hope you understand that. Yeah. So... <clears throat> what sort of situation are we having here? She... Who is this individual? She goes by Iris. She, I think, she's still human at this point in time, but I'm not sure anymore because of the eye. She seems to be holding someone I call the other prisoner. Okay, I see. Right, Iris. Any. Features or what that I can try to try. So you've attempted to scry on Yes. Okay. Uh, that that will be my first port of call as well. I'll see what I can do. Uh, any mm -hmm. information or anything you can give. Otherwise, I'm just looking for someone called Iris. That I'm person. just gonna describe her as better than Kane's gone blank right now on <laughs> what she looks like. Mm -hmm. I remember. I'm fairly sure that. Uh, that uh, has very much vivid... got it scarred in her, her memory, yes. Pretty vivid image of uh, uh, of what she looks like. If I had the art still, which I don't. I think it was on my laptop. Um, I mean, can't you just search up Fire, fire Keeper? Or from deep dark, dark Souls? Too much time, huh? right? eh, um, so, uh, right, he will, well, f first of all, make me, nah, it's, it's burned into, into Angela's mind. Also, you have minor illusion anyway, so you can, like, minor illusion. Oh, shit, yeah, man. Mm -hmm. 
only like magic that cancels out shit. Like, Weirdly specific. Scry. Let me have a look. Okay, so scry. Uh, it's second hand. Okay, second hand. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Here we go. You kind of head your way down. He, he summons one of his uh, one of his people up to you. Um, uh, and they sort of summon you down and take you to a, a little study area. Um, you sit there in the study and watch as the copy or the or this figure that you know to be one of his one of his minions starts to cast the scry spell. <laughs> he casts it. And you watch as the orb kind of begins to to glow the scrying orb that he has in his palm begins to glow a little bit with this faint bluish hue. Clouds almost appear inside and they just coalesce and swoon around. And the clouds part and reveal the sun blazing down, breaking through the clouds. As the sun turns and stares at you, and a golden eye looks at you with that same smirk, that same grin of knowledge that it's beaten you again. And it knows it look, exactly where you are. Does it look at Angela or does it look at the purple wizard? Looks, it, it's, it looks like a sun when it's looking at it and then it turns and looks at Angela and that's the moment where it goes ah and that's where the grin occurs spells cancelled and the guy goes well that wasn't great at all was it no not really no. That wasn't the spell succeeded. Um, right, let me see if I have any other potential ways of doing this. Uh, have you tried using tracking spells? Have you tried crashing your D&D &D Beyond? <laughs> what? Damn, bro. I, I haven't you tried that. Maybe I should. If you crash that, then you technically crash every like memory because that's what DMD Beyond is. The story for every song. And all the information. Well, it was probably just the page crashed. Yeah. Not the actual website. Yeah. No, what I meant is like. I destroyed the website. What I mean is like. DMD Beyond is a collection of all the information, right? And what if what would that be in our world? Like, if you put DMD Beyond in DMD, like, what would you call it? Would that would be a a mass. Uh, uh, what's the word? Called? Of it ever. Oh, uh, like, it's a fucking sundering. It, it it would be. It would be a mass memory wipe. Everything yeah. Would be based it like. Or it would be like fucking uh, Grimgar. 
something arcane and ashes where we're from. But they just get all their memories wiped. Remember, I swear I've attempted to do this before and it, it failed. But can I also attempt to score my friend one on here? Uh sure, yeah, you could you could have been casting your scry while uh, or even after. No. Uh, yeah. Uh okay. Then go ahead and do it. I will. Scry against that. Let me just recheck oh my word, I wish your page wasn't a crash. It's specifically your page as well. Nope, everyone else's is fine. There we go, now we're back. It's because it's got a lot of skills on it. Only fucking... I was actually going into the real world and stopping Angela from coming out the world. Literally. Scry. <laughs> uh, uh... Sorry, there we go. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, sure. Go, go ahead and... And cast the scry spell. I did. Give it a go. Um, oh, I need to roll, don't I? Yeah. That's <laughs> what I'm waiting for, bro. Hmm. So, uh, that's, that's really quite bad. Uh, that's good. So... You now look down in your scrying wall. Mm -hmm. Same sort of situation occurs. Mm -hmm. Slightly blue glow, coalescing clouds. Yeah. Sun appearing before you. But this time the eye doesn't look at you. breaks the clouds and you know that this is the same eye. And you realize you're scrying on the eye. Your scry succeeded this time. But it's giving you the same picture. So he attempted to scry his invisible friend and he still got the eye. Still got the eye. I was gonna pick that one, Neve. I literally saw it, I was like, huh, oh, that looks similar. Then I was like, oh, I'll just pick this one. Um, alright. Uh, the what can you see it? around the eye? Like, if it if it's not actively preventing him from, or or isn't aware of him doing it, what can he see around the eye? Is it just clear blue sky and then the sun? Pretty much, yeah. Kind of just empty, like spa empty sky around the sort of out outskirts of clouds where the, where the uh, where it's kind of blazing through. But other than that, well, then what else? I can't, can't seem to see. Uh, yeah, that's that's all you get. Then what other ways of tracking someone are there? Magically. So we don't have to go town from town to town. And asking and not finding anything. Uh... Well, the wizard will... Look up at you... Angela... Yes. There... Well, you, you know, there isn't really another way of exactly doing this. 
if that one was sort of failed, and I saw that you got the same result that I did. Mm. Somewhat. Point of interest, she succeeded, he failed. So I'm better. <laughs> I win. If you're who what what's the context of this person? Maybe with that I can try to figure something out. Which one? At the person you're looking for. <laughs> the one that I was looking for. Iris. Iris. Uh, she's... She was someone in a part of our group a while ago. She took joy in tormenting me and... Showed me something that I'd rather not remember, but I can't forget. <sighs> she left us a while ago, along with another psychopath we were with. It's... I can remember. just made that noise? I don't know. I was very confused. <laughs> People, someone make him throw gurgles. Mm -hmm. Gurgle. Uh, gargle, gargle. Might have just been my stomach or something. I don't know. Possibly. The wizard looks at you. There are some more, obviously, quite uh, extreme spells that could be cast. Um, those would come at a little bit of what uh, what we'd say is a cost. Uh, if you're desperate. I am very desperate. Well, there's, there's a number of options. First of all, the, one of the uh, obviously easier options and safer for everyone involved is um, d d does this person follow a deity? Because there's often ways of communicating with maybe the deity and that might be a potential avenue. Um, gods can be tricked sometimes, you see. She doesn't, from what I know. Okay, then option two would be a wish. But I can't cast those currently. You cannot. And that's why it would come at quite the cost. So. We should probably make a deal. This is something that you really wish to happen. Yes. Excuse the pun. Then I can make this happen. But it will come at a cost, a potentially big cost. Mm -hmm. What are you asking? I don't know yet. I put one very large IOU. Would that work? Sure. Quite a favor. <clears throat> Excellent. One large IOU. Good. Uh, appearing before you in a puff of golden smoke is a contract. 
and a small pen. Does it literally just say I O U and then a line at the bottom? Of the <laughs> yeah, I was. What does the contract it's, say? It pretty much says just I O U. It like it kind of goes I. Tell, incredibly, you have no last name, which is very annoying. So it says I Angela. O. Uh, o the consortium of Pipwaters. One favor to be called upon at any point. Uh, and must be instantaneously resolved, or at earliest convenience, at, no, at quickest notice, resolved in a timely fashion acceptable to the holder of the Write this down, Ruben, because uh, you can contract. read it. Yes, I will. Good point. Thank you. Also, Hold what on. the fuck is Read the fine print. Yeah, Angela doesn't have a last name. You don't? Um, no. Do you have parents? She knows it. Maybe. <laughs> That's on a need to know basis, and you don't need to know. I, I, I want to know, though. <coughs> <coughs> Wasn't Angela an orphan? Yes. Orphans still have parents. Just not anymore. I was going to say. <laughs> That's That's the Angela she... knows the, her parents. Might not know. Oh my gosh, Liverpool are winning. What the heck? <laughs> Maybe your friend you're trying to get back should have given you one. That's all I'm saying. I mean, get some new friends. What is the definition of an orphan? Do I feel like a certain age until you grow an orphan? No, you can be, no. You can be orphan at any dead. point. I, I, ask, I ask a single question What is your last name? And now we are. What is the definition of an orphan? What is an orphan? Really? Um, Are they of strong moral fiber? No. I don't know. Amina hates orphans. You heard it here first, folks. She is but Australian. She's a parent. She probably would orphan them herself. Technically, I have three parents, so I can't be fucking orphaned. <laughs> no, I mean, you orphaned the poor orphan. You're you murderer. I nah. The murderer? Nah. Uh, Angela owes da, 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 to be enacted at earliest convenience. Um, Read the fine print. Uh, I'm going to. At earliest convenience. Um, Hopefully the fine print is microscopic. <laughs> no. Convenience. Uh, I can't think of the words I'm trying to look for, but uh, to the reciprocants, if I could spell that, recipient, that's the one, uh, what's the fancy contract word for happiness? Uh, there is no is is there a contract word for happiness? Do you think there's ever such thing as There is. There is a very specific word that satisfaction. Contentment satisfaction. Be happy boys. Exuberance? Exhilaration? I'm just literally looking up the synonyms for happiness. I could tell. Uh, Angela owes one. Uh, owes one. Down. Happens down. Owes one. Owes one. I don't know what the word is. It just says owes one. To be enacted. Oh. Sorry. Not owes one. Owes the consortium. Oh, fuck you. Huh? <laughs> oh, God. Carry on. <laughs> oh, my word. Fuck you. What the fuck is that? Uh, That's I... the Chuckle Brothers. The other one died. Jesus Christ. Yeah, fucking... Oh, Chuckle Brothers is the contract. Speaking of that, here's the contract. Uh, the Angela at the end, 
No, wait, I just put O's. Eh, that works. I mean, surely she's more than capable of assuming. Words to this effect, but that is in essence what it, what it says. Mm -hmm. uh, the pen that is placed before you, Angela, okay. uh, has a small needle. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. So basically, what you have to do is prick, uh, pour, and sign. Now that the contract's wording has been decided, how about the wishes? Yeah, I'm like, what does it say about his side of the bargain on this? Uh, oh, uh, he basically goes, well, I kind of have to do it. I will just cast a wish spell. And wish for something that you desire. Okay. Let's look at the exact thing on what that is. An even cooler flying chair. No. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Wastes uh, she... a wish spell to have the co the flying chair become pink. Purple, how do you know that it's pink? Nah, you get pink. That's the best they can do. It's like wasting a Fantasia just to dye your hair. Oh. Like Even though you can already do that for 2,000 gold. Uh, that's the irony. <laughs> Angela could paint, just paint the chair pink, but she's using a possibly wish life spell. debt. <laughs> a wish spell and possibly a life debt to paint it pink. So, do you sign? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you sign away, and the contract kind of burns up in front of you. This is the second you sign. Great. So, uh, that will be enacted whenever we wish, as the Consortium of Pippa Wizards. So, a uh, wish spell. It, as long as you designate what you want to wish, this spell can do whatever you like. You know, if I said, I'm going to try to not cast a spell here, because I've done that before, it was a mistake. I wish for a thousand cakes. A thousand cakes will appear. Sometimes. Now, the issue is, the greater the power of the wish, the greater the potential for danger. For example, I wish for 10,000 cakes might give you 9,999 cakes, and one of those cakes is poisonous. Or at least, not a good cake. Very basic example for you, but that's the sort of premise that we're working with. Okay. So, be careful with what you pick, and if you pick something powerful, know that it might go slightly wrong. Think of the exact wording I want to use. That do not wish to be very screwed over by the wish spell. <laughs> Ruben will find a way. Yeah, I know. No. Is this the first time you've used a wish spell? Uh, in this context, yes. I think you guys had a wish from someone before, like a couple of campaigns ago. It's like, oh yes, I'll give you a wish. Oh, you want that? Okay. Boom. It happened. This one is an actual full, like, hey, I'm gonna cast a spell. What am I casting? But what is your goal here, Angela? Like, do you, do you want to 
My goal is to set her free from whatever Eleanor has done. Not Eleanor, fucking Iris has done with her. I was about to say, excuse me, Eleanor's done nothing. <laughs> Eleanor's, Eleanor Neve. did it. <laughs> Neve has done everything. Yes. Yeah. I, I admit, I'm the big bad guy. I'm sorry. Sorry, but this is my campaign now. Back at the house, Eleanor just sneezes like, so, fuck. So we, you don't even need to find Iris. You just yeah. want to basically... i my back. At some point, my forehead. I do. Then think very carefully about how you want to word this. But the gist is... I... Essentially, you'd like to summon your friend here. Yes. Yeah, just cut out the middle woman. Just get rid of her. Uh. Yeah. Mm. I wish for. I wish for a friend. <laughs> no. No? No, you won't go for that? You, you even know your friend's name? Yeah. I mean, describe them in, in a good amount of detail so that the wish spell is targeting the right person, not some other random person with the same name. Yeah. <laughs> There's a degree of... This is a high power spell. If you just say, bring back, mm -hmm -hmm, I'm not going to go, oh yeah, well, here's some 70-year-old woman, ha ha ha, like. In, it's got a bit of brain behind it. I'm bad, I'm not that bad. It's it's a ninth level spell, <laughs> like, there has yeah, to, it has, there has, it has to some be, brain to it. There has to be a bit of intelligence on our mm -hmm. part. Otherwise, it's just like, hey, DM, do the thing I want you to do. Okay. In in mm. both ways. Like, you guys you guys need to be intelligent in the way you would, because consequences. Um, uh, Andrew just said, blow the world. I'm gonna... I'm gonna start. Can just check the message I sent you. It might help. Yes, I will do that real quick. I don't think it's gonna help. It'll help. Bruh. <laughs> Genius. Uh, everyone who would like to, I will, I'll send to you what I sent Ken. It's a genius oh. idea, Ken. Send it to mom. <laughs> it's Angela's chair after she hasn't gotten up off it for the past <laughs> three weeks. Lightly shut <laughs> off it. <laughs> um. It honestly looks like, um, do you know from, uh, fucking... Oh, yeah, of course, it's in Oxford. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I don't know. I've never been there. I'm just. Mm. Obviously. It kind of looks like that dream lady from Black Clover. One of the actors. Dorothy, I think, in the most. <laughs> it's okay, what are we thinking? Uh, the exact thing I was gonna say is I would like to set Galatea uh, could you I'll message you it. Yes, like could, you, could you do that? Yes. That was kind of... Yeah, send it to me and just me. I will change it to make it bad for you and send it to Ruben. Ah, perfect. Well, the more I'm looking at the more I actually see fucking Dorothy from fucking Black Over and I've been that shit stain. Please stop looking. Stop. It does look a, like silhouette of her. Stop. It does. I 
can see it. Yeah. Oh. Both of you. Oh. I know I can only physically shove one person into fucking quarantine, no. but I will shove you both in there. Oh no, no, you can you can shove as many as you want, actually. You just can't join the people. That, I think. Oh, look at that. The wording of it. Why is the Welsh flag the wrong way around? Yeah, because... I mean, yeah, I guess it's... The... Why is there a fan on the ceiling? Because it's a pub. Oh, fuck. I, 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 that's, I bet you that's Australia, because it's just so fucking hot there. You know what's funny? I can see Tunisia right in the corner. And I love the way that's what I noticed of all of that. It's just, there's Tunisia. That's Hong Kong. That's Tunisia, isn't it? That's Hong Kong. What, the why? Oh, is that Hong Kong? Oh, I thought it was Tunisia. Yeah. Hold on. What, the one above the small Welsh flag? I don't want to distract you. Oh, it you is. Yeah, yeah, Tunisia is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right. I don't want to distract people. Carry on. I'm sorry. Okay. Very interesting. You see half the party disappear after the wish is done. Okay. Uh. So, to to check, Kane, mm -hmm. is that what Angela says to the wizard? Yes. So he he will then turn that into a wish spell. That is what yep. I would like. Okay. Yes. So, in which case, it's going to be, uh, it will be, in fact, to be, that. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry, I forgot I, I was doing it from the wizard's point of view. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, no. It, it's, a, it's all right, it works. Because it would be Angela saying it to this, and it was then Jeopardy. So. The wizard goes ahead and says... I, um, do you want me to say the words, or shall I just go, it says, the spell? Do you um, want to say that's up to you? Up to Kane. I can say the words. Okay. I wish for Galatea. I think that's how you spell it. Galatea. Galatea, whoopsie, to be free from what Iris has done to her, to allow her to come back. To Andrew. So, let's see how this works. First of all, the wish spell has no rules, so this is entirely off whatever the hell Ruben thinks should happen. Ruben so. thinks poorly. So, good luck, Ken. <laughs> yep, we all died. Okay. No, then. Ruben, maybe this one will give you some inspiration. Who fucked you a flag on this song? Shh, nice. Tell them about it. Nice, that, that's I good. That I like ages. that. <laughs> I like that. I drew that ages ago. Shh. It's my proudest achievement yet. It's just to show we conquered it, Morgan. We've conquered yeah. Mistress Fountain. More flags will be added as time goes on. Nah! 
I just saw it take a huge for a second and disappear. I had to. I had to. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Um. Right. Andrew. The spell's very big. Very interesting. Might have some unforeseen consequences. It's a very interesting way of putting it. I really appreciate that from the spell. Hmm. Spell. For example, wishing that the villain were dead might propel you forwards in time to a period where that villain is no longer dead, effectively removing you from the game. Rip. Jeez. <laughs> Brutal. Uh, okay. Let's, let's, let's do a little roly. Just a little roly, see how mean I want to be, you know? I leave it to the dice to decide how evil I am. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay. Angela. You watch as the spell is cast. For a minute you don't really feel anything. You sit there and kind of Watch as, as the magic leaves the person, the kind of creation in front of you that is casting these crazy spells that you can literally only dream of casting. At the moment. At the moment. And nothing seems to happen. And after about a minute, maybe two, you feel almost a tug on your on your kind of clothes. Like something has been placed into one of your pockets. Oh, I'll, I'll go see what that is. The fact that I know exactly what anime is that from, Morgan. Hana. From uh, Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. <laughs> I mean, the messes are popped up to say Dragon Maid, I think, so... Yeah. I didn't see the message, I, I just saw the, the yeah. gif itself, I'm like, that's Kana's hand. <laughs> that's insane. Uh... <laughs> She's my favourite character, shut up! <laughs> I'll well, see my what the is. Hand, character's hands... Okay, I remember what Yang's hands are like, but those are quite specific, right? Um, oh. there is Miss Kobayashi Dragon Maid Kana. Mm, Kana. Mm, Kana. Uh, as you reach into your pocket and pull out whatever is inside, you realize to some degree you've been given exactly in part well. Not 
completely what you'd asked, but a <laughs> a snow globe, in essence, is in your pocket. That's a hefty and... weight. Snow globes are heavy. Yeah, it's <laughs> why you very much felt it here. Uh, well, it depends on the snow globe. Oh, God. Inside here, of the it's snow not... globe. You see a figure of a girl around her twenties, teens, late teens, maybe twenty. Sort of scroll wheeling. Oh, oh where is the oh, damn. The I'm, trying, I'm trying to find the original art for it. <laughs> God, die. Jeez, on a Kane. I'm zooming, bro. I need to... Did you just put your scroll wheel into your mic? <laughs> wait. Oh, wait. Where's the original? The original R? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Aggressive scrolling. It's not It's not in character. Right? <laughs> um, yeah, but the, don't forget, if Kane, I remember this, correctly, she's around this was the same set. age now. Yeah, I, I, th I think she was the same age as you. I think she grew up with you, is what we had said. Yeah. That you were kind of aging together. Um, it seems like that's continued now that you are older. Um, but she is inside the snow globe. She is also shackled by tendrils of dark energy. That kind of tie her into the nothingness that is the rest of the globe. And she's just sort of there, slightly in pain. Like you can see her kind of wince. Um, just there. Uh, I just like this to hug this snow globe and just whisper it. No! <laughs> no! Please do that. No! <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. She just whispers to the top. Alright, uh, uh keep that away from Pop Todd. <laughs> Sorry, what did you say, Ken? I'll, I'll get you. Oh. I'll set you for your sleep. Yeah. So, the wizard kind of looks at you and goes, uh, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Folly of the wish spell, sometimes it doesn't always follow what you want. Uh, apology, in which case, we won't be quite as harsh as we could be with the contract. Gentlemen's agreement among the consortium of purple wizards, of course. Mm -hmm. Although, <coughs> old man's dying. Apologies, I just uh, worked out. I can never cast that spell again, personally. So that's kind of disheartening, just a little. Um, I, uh, ju just be careful, try not to, uh, try to steer away from, uh, Purple 3. Purple 3 is the forgetful one. Uh, he might just ask for your help, and that will be your the use of the contract and then you'd have to do it or uh, <coughs> become a consortium of the people with it. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Should have made clear. You break the contract, you do become a people with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. One of the consortium. Uh, mm -hmm. So, a uh, pleasure doing business with you. 
I hope that you managed to find your friend. I'm sorry it couldn't be more help at this point, but I personally am going to uh, cry myself to, yeah. to sleep. I love how the purple see, wizard like, went from down. this mysterious figure to like this, like, oh, well, um, I'm sorry. Well, oh, this, is, this is one of his. This is one of them. Oh, I the see. One. The, the yeah. more serious one, I think, is like the quote unquote. Well, maybe not the original, but the oldest yeah. current in creation. Yeah. Is uh, the like, original. I thought, I thought you were talking to the original. but the No, because the original can't yeah. cast spells. The illusion the original... just been like... The original's kind of decrepit old man, can't do shit. Mm. Okay, he, he can. He just tied down with various anti-magic spells because he wants to kill humanity. I would like to go yeah. back up to the music. Mm -mm. I would, I would like to go back up and yeah, yeah. be like, is this... What did your wish spell do? Uh, it wasn't is... exactly my wish spell, but... Uh, may I look? You may. Is, is she very slow? Interesting. Uh, as far as I can see... You can now see the whereabouts of your friend. What was the... What was the wish? The wish didn't succeed at all in telling me. What did you wish for? The words? I wish for her to agree be able to come back to me, if possible. Well... She's still chained. She evidently is not free, but... That looks like she's come back somewhat. The wish spell is fickle, you see. Doesn't always follow the whim. What you want. Odin has got a point. She's free from Iris. Is she? She's no longer with Iris, isn't she? It's talking about the like... physical sense that she's not with Iris anymore. Yeah. She's free from Iris. Still, she's still in Funny Snow Globe. Mm -hmm. She's still trapped, but she's not with Iris. Yeah, Funny Snow true. Globe. And she's somewhat safe now. Yeah. It, uh, the, the, the spell was literal. She's free from Iris and she's with you. Yep. She's still in the Snow Globe trapped, but... The conditions were met. She's not with Iris, and she's free. Like she's free from Iris with you. Yeah, the spell did what you asked in a literal manner. This was like, it, there was like grabbed her and the snow globe went Miko. Oh, the wish spell works. Someone uh, freed my friend in perfectly normal form. <laughs> okay. The more again, the more complex you make it, the more dangerous. The harder it is. Yeah. Anyways. You have your friend so, back in the. I in don't the... know what the condition of that is. I don't know if that is fully returned to you, but evidently there's still some work to be done in that regard. Mm -hmm. You're a smart and young girl. You can you can save them. Just study, think, and eventually release. If I. You got your home. Get your whole life ahead of you, you'll figure it out. Yeah. Eventually, <laughs> when you're 76, you're working out. Uh, if I come up with anything further that I can do, we'll let you know. On a more positive spin, I'm going to be dying soon, so you'll take charge. 
That's possible. So yes, you will be able to have some of the benefits that come with being on the Wizard Council. That might might help you in this endeavor and and any further endeavors. Um, something I should make note to. You. I've received some worrying reports that Ethelor and Portman are teaming up a little. It seems that the new voice has been wanting to become friends with the kingdom. I do not know what for, I do not know what benefit, but the council has not received any word on this. We are afraid that their next goal might be to come take us. Unite under a dual banner of kingdom and religion. And have some sort of duality. Both equal parts, ruler and not ruler. Hmm. But who knows? That will be for you to decide, not for me. Good luck with the rest. That is without saying anything else. Mm -hmm. Goes back on. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, is there anything anyone would like to do while Angela has been nope. Unless I can steal magicking them. about? Uh, yes, actually. Oh. I'm going to find my green boy. You're going to- oh, right, you're going to find your green boy. Gosh, now I need to remember what last happened with green boy. <coughs> she took his book, and they exchanged love letters. Wait, didn't the letter like appear when we scared the shit out of us because we told us something bad? Yeah. In the middle of the goddamn what, ruins Dungeon before we went to fight the yeah. werewolf. This letter appears like, Jesus Christ. Oh, yes, the, the really stupid letter. I've just found the letter and I was like, I think yeah. that's what lost happened. Okay. Yeah, that's literally the last thing that happened. Because there was no way for Filu to send a letter back that she knew of. Yes, yes. So I was literally just holding it off until we got back to Mistress Font. Okay, okay. Oh, sorry. Before I anything, Fila puts her skirt on so no one sees the spider legs. Mm -hmm. I did think that <laughs> might, might happen. So, you walk your way over. Uh, his garden has been maintained immaculately, as always, by his little lot of zombie boys. Uh, um, zombie boys. Zombie boys. Doing a bit of gardening, you know. Best use of zombies. Because when they uh, when they end up dying, they become a fertilizer. Yep. Man is a genius. So... Uh, yeah, you you arrive at his at his mansion. Door shut. Well, okay. I'm guessing you didn't hear, but it's Eleanor's coming with Philo. Oh, is Eleanor coming with? Okay, sorry. Yeah. I missed yeah. No, Discord didn't hear you, Neve. Okay, we'll keep him a dookie. Uh, yeah, the two of you were. Uh... Oh. Uh, the two of you. Make your way, uh, make your way there, and arrive reasonably quickly as you live semi-close to his lovely mansion. 
his zombie abode. Yeah. Looks like he's got a couple of new tulips that are beginning to grow as well. On the side. Oh. Yeah. Those are a bitch to grow. Yeah. Yeah. The four zombies that tried to grow that them are uh, reaping the rewards. <laughs> they, are, they are now helping it grow. Oh, yeah. Literally. I guess I knock on the door, ring the doorbell. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, either, either, any or. Uh, and the door doesn't take long, swings open. And standing before you in a green suit and a green top hat is a skeleton. A skeleton. <laughs> Looks at you. Kind of cracks its jaw. Goes. <coughs> Welcome, Miss Old Castle. Please enter the key. I made a pop noise. Realized he doesn't have lips. Definitely doesn't sound like that. <laughs> he doesn't. I'm, I'm sorry. You said green Please. suit and green top hat. Oh, that boy. was that was not the gif I wanted. But it works. My brain went to the one slot. <laughs> Gosh. That's what I was laughing about. I don't know what Roman's brain went to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, green chaos. Hmm. <laughs> Hi. Philo gives a slight look to Eleanor before walking inside. Kind the look is as if like, it's like, here we go. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> um, yeah, he, he, he kind of gestures you in, shuts the door behind you. Um, the master is up in his study. If you wish to see him, do I remember the way? Hey. <laughs> Yeah, there's like two flight, flights of stairs. It's very, okay. very classic, pompous kind of mansion where it's like everything quite wide and open space. And then there's the room that's shut. That's the study. <laughs> ah, so all the doors were opening except for that one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you walk through, you see this, you see that. You see like where he collects his bodies. That's just in one of the rooms. Oh, the body room. Yep. Weird guy. Anyway. Uh, yeah, he's in the study. We'll also just say Eleanor would have attuned to the, um, what's it called? Before even arriving in Mistress Land. Um, uh, what's it called? <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. It's the badge that makes her seem like a neutral living being. Oh, living essence. Yes. Broke. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, getting rid of the ring? Yes. Okay. It's like, sorry, Judas, you're going in the pocket. <laughs> sorry, Judas. Sorry, Judas, you're going back into the bag of holding for a bit. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't put me in the bag, no! Judas is like, fuck you! No. <laughs> like, deal with it. It's so dark and cold in here. Don't worry, you have the Triton to keep you company. <laughs> Oh, right, the trident you still have to give to Loki. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're a terrible uh, person. Uh, uh, um, I'm just going to imagine Eleanor cleaning out the bag of holding and just shaking it upside down. And the trident falls. It's like, oh, by the way, these are yours. Oh, it's just for you. It's like, oh. <laughs> like, completely yeah, forgets about it. Like, at the end of ca the campaign, just, oh, yeah, here's this. Oh, wait. Um, it won't be that long, I promise. <laughs> What do you what 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 image is I can't click on it. It's I, is is boy. that what he looks like? Because I have an image of Green Boy. It's and just like the accuracy it. to the picture you have of Green Boy to that picture. Hold on, let me let me bring up 
uh, wizard council green. You know what? Uh, you're not you're not far wrong. I gotta lie though, the one Man, the head sent, it, it looks like Dorian from Dragon Age Inquisition. So it looks like a bitch if I do so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Maribel. Everyone looks like a bitch compared to you. Gosh. All right. <laughs> You're welcome for my input. <laughs> so, uh, as you kind of walk up to this study, um, you hear uh, a bit of a scene going on. Or, well, there's a lot of like things being thrown. Um, which Eleanor, you realize, is books because stupid. Um, but you you hear a lot of things being thrown, a lot of like loud Much. <laughs> shouting and muttering and cursing, like mostly at himself. It seems. It's like, why did you put that fucking book, you idiot? Where the? <laughs> I was like, oh, just like that's not it. Ah! And just poof, clung, as like one of the bookcases falls down and all the books are just scattered everywhere. You just kind Did of... he forget that he gave it away? Breast it seems you just said, has a temper. I think so. I, I I knock loudly on like the double doors to try and get his attention. Yes. Is it? You seem a bit busy, darling. Should I come back? <laughs> uh, Eleanor, you hear him. The uh, fucking squeak. Yeah, did you like that squeak? Yeah. <laughs> I really, I really, I knew uh, I was gonna do uh, it. Oh, so I good. <laughs> uh, he he kind of sets himself and. Um, Sets himself and, and uh, sorts out his, his uh, attire. He used to be an attire. <laughs> Adjusts himself like shit. Yes. Yeah, pretty much. Um, and then kind of walks. Like, oh shit, my girlfriend's here. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Um, walks up to the door and just opens it. Yeah, that's, that's what he was doing previously. <laughs> Yeah, mad, like, casts haste and just starts cleaning up. Um, no, that's destruction. That's yeah. what he was doing in the library. <laughs> yeah, he's just cleaning it up quickly. Yep. It's like, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. So he, he's opened the door, yes? Did I don't know. He said for one sec. Ah. Also, can I just say it's really satisfying watching this game for on repeat. I know, right? <laughs> just sitting there watching for game. What I love is that I have I have Green Wizard just on the screen and then just beneath him I can see a, a duck. Is it Daffy Duck or is it That's Donald? Oh, is it Donald? Okay. Daffy's the the the, the black duck. I could only see his feet. <laughs> but oh. I could just see his feet running around and things getting picked up. Oh yeah, well, yeah, that would have been. They they both have orange feet, so fair. So, uh, oh, um, <clears throat> opens the door. <sighs> um, hello, uh, Kiki. That's Ruben forgetting, he would remember. Kiki? Lulu! Lulu, damn it. Lulu. Kiki is flipping Vox Machina. That's my bad. Uh, uh, Lulu, Lu, I, I didn't it's expect you to. Kiki, he left my heart. Yeah. Yeah, that's. Eh, I forget. Um, I didn't expect you to, to be visiting. Uh, 
apologies, I'm having some issues with an experiment. Um, ah. Philo slightly leans around, just like enough to see behind him. He's like, you know, you shouldn't treat your books like that. I have been told I should take better care of some of my things, but uh, especially more so, of the rarer ones. Uh, fortunately, this is mostly the less rare books, but I, I do. Um, oh, uh, hi. Has Green, has, um, I was going to say, has Green Wizard met Eleanor yet? I, I don't. <laughs> Eleanor's just standing there, like, staring we at him. Hi. Some, Eleanor's some of, not looking at him. Is Eleanor even allowed oh. to see him? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> yeah, no, she, she'll mean, allow I, it. I mean, the skeleton let us both in, unless Eleanor decided to go with sneaky pants again and just walk hey, in. Hey, that's just a <laughs> passive stealth. Have you have you met Green? Uh, no, I've seen him from a hall. Okay. Yes. Then, in which case, he'll go. Oh, uh, hello. It's. Uh, I didn't realize you'd also uh, uh, brought a friend. I also didn't realize you had a, a daughter. It's an honor to meet you. Oh, no, 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 no. She's not daughter? a daughter. <laughs> no! <laughs> it's, the, it's the white hair, isn't it? Uh, no, no, no. This is not my daughter. I have no children. Uh, oh, I, I, you mentioned that uh, your child when I... I uh, Talking about my pets, my children. <laughs> Not an actual child, darling. That... I'm, I'm like... I'm like 28. <laughs> yeah, that's... And, 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 that's and I'm 29, that, that would be... Huh? Wow, that's... I'm, I'm old enough to be her sister. <laughs> you... Oh, I've really... It's been a long... When did I last sleep? Um, that is a good question. Do you want to come in? Actually, you probably don't want to come in. It's a bit of a mess. Do you want to go have tea? Um, I, I, do you want to go in the garden? I hear the tulips are going great. I haven't seen them. I, don't oh, I saw know them on the way in. Is. They're, is they're it doing really well. They're actually growing. Daytime? It is daytime. Okay, that's, that's good. That's good. Uh, it's at this point you realize, and, and kind of look, he has huge bags under his eyes. Huge. Yes, um... Why? I was gonna say, I actually don't know if it is daytime. <laughs> this is just bullshit. It's daytime. It's daytime. Um... So, uh... Yeah, Ed, are you... Where would you like to... Like to go, Feeling, I'll... Uh, I will happily... Scott, you and your friend, who, who apologies, I never asked your name. What is your name, my, my name is Eleanor. Eleanor. It's, it's good to meet you, Miss Eleanor. I'm, I'm glad to meet another one of my lovely Lulu's friends. So, yes, uh, where would you like to go? Uh, question. Is Eleanor bothered by the sun? You should rather buy it just a little. You get a disadvantage on everything. Uh, yeah, just a little. <laughs> as it's a bit warm outside, I'd rather sit inside. Oh, yes, I totally understand. Of course, if it's too too hot. I, I don't know if, if my eyes would cope, to be honest. You might blind oh. yourself. It's very sunny up there. Yes. Uh, then, where do you, do you want to go to this uh, the dining room, and and maybe I could could get some some tea and biscuits brought in. Have if they in haven't the gone off. What, Roman? Maybe. I said I have the skeleton whip up a nice meal. Yeah. The skeleton. 
great buns. Fred, I want to go grocery shopping. Everything in the house is expired. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm, I was going to say, I'm assuming Eleanor does not need tea as she has her flask. <laughs> she will not be drinking full stop here. <laughs> yep. So, would you like tea? No, I'm good, thank you. Thank you for the offer, but no thanks. I mean, if it's in the flask, is he going to know? True. It's better safe than sorry. Fair, fair, okay. It's better safe than looking like an alcoholic. Sorry. But also that. <laughs> you're an adventurer. You're, you're bound to pick that shit up. <laughs> Sit in the dining room. Okay. Uh, yes, that's good. I will. Oh. Uh, he kind of holds his head a bit. Great. They, they've. I've got some of them starting to work now. Um, please follow me. To the uh, dining room, yes. And he kind of walks his way out, stumbles into the door frame, and he goes, Ooh, ooh, still not light. Great on my feet. Kind of... I think a break was necessary. You're not mm. going in back in there until you had a rest. I. Uh, uh, yes. Of, uh, uh, hmm. of, of course, yeah. Come on, let's, let's have some, some tea. <laughs> and just so you <laughs> oh gosh. you head your way down the stairs in towards his little dining room area kind of he gestures to, uh, to some of the kind of comfy armchairs there he goes please uh, take a seat um, kind of wait for you to, to sit down and, and grabs his own chair. God damn it, oh. Robinella, that song's in my head. It says whoopa. So I put a whoop. It's meant to be like whipping. Okay, well, back to DD, sorry. <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. It's a. Uh. So, um, Lulu, why... But, but, uh, I, 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 as I said, I, I didn't expect you, 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 you to, to be back so soon. You, you seem to imply that you were going to be on a bit of a trip. Oh, we finished that. Surprisingly, oh. we finished qu quicker than we assumed. Uh, right, I, I see. Um, well, I... I, I I'm glad to have you back. Um, did you receive my my letter? I did, and it scared the ever living daylights out of myself and my companions. Oh, I I was it a, a bad timing? Should I? We we were exploring shift? ruins, so you can imagine. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then just the... all of a sudden. That happened, and we thought we triggered a trap. So we were panicked. <laughs> mm, I see how that could be. I, 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 knew, I knew I should have waited for another hour. I was, but it was ready, and I, I, I just, I just couldn't wait. It's, just... it's quite all right. Now that I know what it looks like when you send me a letter, I, well, it won't start to me the next time. <laughs> it's actually the, the first time I've, I've tried that spell. So. I, uh, it was it's my own my own kind of creation, you see, and um, it, it brings in a couple of aspects to do with with parts of of um, parts of the life cycle that I that I quite enjoy, but also with the means of of, of transportation, and so I uh, I created it a little bit ago. Um, Yes, so, so uh, do, you, do you have anything? Uh, of, I. Uh, oh. <sighs> uh, 
been a long week. Take a moment. Take a moment. A moment. Yes. <sighs> yes. Did we, did, just table talk. Did Philo and Eleanor discuss why would they they were coming over, or at least Eleanor, what Eleanor's goal was? Or did they just not speak I mean, on the way over? <laughs> I mean, Eleanor probably would have mentioned why, and I have mentioned okay. why to you. Yes, um, you have to be, but I'm like... I no, also just want to point story. out that Eleanor is just sitting quietly looking down at her hands. <laughs> just really hands obviously that. uncomfortable. <laughs> hmm. Third wheeling to the max. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I have no reason why we came here, but. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, kind of just like, I suddenly regret ever asking anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, Filu turns towards Eleanor, since now I know that characters actually spoke about why they were coming here. Or at least why Eleanor was tagging along. Eleanor actually has some questions for you. I'm not sure if you can answer them, but... Oh, well, well, well yeah. Sorry, are you, are you interested in, in necromancy? Um, the transition from life to death is such an interesting one. The way the body decays sometimes can be so, so intricate and, and, and beautiful as it, as it transitions slowly and the, the tiny nuance, nuances between all of the different creatures that enjoy feasting upon the flesh as it begins to decay such a, a beautiful and, and cyclic aspect to it my question entails bringing someone back um we as... have his soul and but we don't have his body well that's a new one for me Normally, the soul is the first thing to go, but this time the body is gone, but the soul remains. Well, that has a whole heat. Yes, sorry, I was ugh, away with myself for a minute there. Um, in what aspect do you wish for the soul to be returned? Um, fully. Like, before he died. So, walk and talk. Be him again. So more of a resurrection than than a. Okay. Well. I don't know what the heck was happening there. But I think it, I think it's one of the dogs, or a dog. I thought so too. Going stupid. I thought so too. But I couldn't get my trade of thoughts because all I heard was. Yeah, we can hear them. Yes, We've been hearing this the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> including when you it. were. In, including when you were just like. Shut up. Oh, all the... <laughs> Don't stab the dogs or I'll stab you. She will. She but anyway. Will. She's crazy. Um, I'm completely sane. That's the issue. Right. Well. Uh, there are a couple of spells that are related to souls. Um, how urgently do you require this information? I have many books in my study, many books on spells related to it, but of course... Um, I, I don't know how long books. his soul will stay in. No. There is a potential time frame related to this, yes, I see. Mm could be more perilous than interesting. Right. Um, in which case, in which case, we, 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 we have a number of options. First of all, the tea is being brought in along with a number of biscuits and the sandwich, a couple of sandwiches, because I'm quite hungry um, for one. We can hold off on these on these sweet treats if you wish, and, and go study. Of course, I, I, I would love to uh, study with, with someone interested in, in any form of necromancy. 
it's a subject that fascinates me and, and then to be honest nobody else really seems to take an interest they think it's weird and you know it's often seen as bad i don't think it is bad because you know the, the amount of things that i've been able to do and, 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 you, you just see feeler giving a stern look you're I eating don't. something first well it looks like we're going to be eating first and then we'll we'll get to the <laughs> <laughs> One um, sandwich, and then you can. <laughs> you, you watch as the skeletons, about three of them, bring out a tray with tea, a couple of uh, cups on there, um, and then also like a glass of water as well, just in case you know, someone doesn't like tea or whatever. Very, very well thought out. Um, places the down on a silver platter, Sil silver tray, sorry, um, brings out a whole same size tray, kind of reasonable size, about 10 different types of sandwiches, um, you know, every different type. And actually, when you look at them, you realize a lot, how do I put this, um, I mean, quite easily, they're all vegetarian. Um, and then he's got a couple of biscuits just on the side uh, as well. And he goes, right, just, um, just, just off topic. They're all vegetarian. Well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you got just this. like, <laughs> Eleanor will nurse a glass of water and not to take a sip from it. <laughs> mm -hmm. or, pretend, or pretends to at least. But, like, just table talk. You got the bloodsucker. Mm -hmm. And then the one who can also potentially drink blood. Uh huh. So you got the carnivore and the bloodsucker sitting next to a vegetarian. Uh huh. The irony. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, just. It, it was funny to me. It is a little amusing. <laughs> Like, just the looks, like, quick looks between Eleanor and Felix, just like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, old twist. Anyway, like continue. The is a fucking vegetarian. Well, he yeah, probably decays, and he's probably used whatever meat that he has in experiments. Yeah. It's like, this, this is valuable ingredient, so I'm not using that to feed myself. More experiments. So, he goes ahead and... Does he just to... Kirby that sandwich? <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. Uh, he, he certainly scoffs it down. Very Oliver Twist. Um, and then kind of eats it, finishes it, kind of wipes his mouth, remembering that he has company. Yes, he brushes off, kind of trying to be subtle. Both of you see it. You, you, you can't help the formalities, darling. I don't think either of us are going to care, especially when you're famished. I'm Honestly, like, considering where we just came from, I'd rather you drop the formalities. This is... Oh. Uh, well, well um, while I'm eating, you you could tell me what, what you had been... Up to, of, of course, no, no obligations. Like, just... so smooth. Explore the ruin. Mm -hmm. Met up with some, some old friends of ours. Oh, that's always nice. We'll, we'll visit them then on the way back. Oh, good, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, sure. I, I got to see my other two children and bring them back, so What's maybe one day you pets, not... pets, pets not... yes, not actual children. <laughs> That's Filu weird. Does not... Filu does not have any children. He's like one of my butt to walk in. Who, 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 who's Filu? That was table talk, you didn't have to. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Yes, just suddenly addressing myself in the 
Third person? Yeah. First? Filu is very, very good today. I think Filu shall go outside and get some sun. <laughs> I would I would not be able to keep that up if I did. Uh, May uh, maybe one day you'll get to meet the ones I call my children. Uh, I think I think you may have already met one of them. <coughs> He's just choking. Someone needs a pat on the back. Is this yep. how you kill the uh, blue wizard? <laughs> He's already met one of my so-called children and just chokes to death. I I just kind of add uh, something I thought of. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, no, I'd, I'd love to meet your, your children. Uh, neat. Um, so, uh, can I just take a biscuit? Um, do you want to go to the study now? Yes. Let's. Okay. I'm going to take a couple more biscuits. I'm going to grab some fistful. Take the good. entire plate if you want. Drop the formalities. <laughs> I mean, I could put, pretend I'll, if I take the plate, I have to put it down somewhere. And, you know, then I've only got two hands and a mage hand. This way, I've got two hands. I can carry them. Anyway, um, come on to the, to the study. Um, can I've saunters his way up. It holds the door open for both of you. Come on, we have to move, Mike. Okay. So it's, it's up, and then it's the first left. But then you got to watch out because sometimes one of the steps is actually a bit wobbly. So that step, oh, yeah, that one. Um, what would you do? Just like, I'll just sit on the way up the first time. Oh, it was very perceptive. Um, and kind of, yeah, lets you lets you back into his study. Uh, there is a bit of a hold up as Filu tries to get in, but eventually, uh, you make your way into his study, which looks like a mess. There are books everywhere. Everywhere. Um, it's, it really looks like he's been, you know. There's a lot like, in here for God knows how long. You know when Morgan turned into a air elemental and ran through a hotel at one time? Yeah. That. Um, <sighs> For those of you that don't know that story, How could I nobody was impressed. <laughs> it's very dumb. Um... <laughs> Long story short, it looks like a tornado went off. Yes. Yeah, I was, gonna, I was either going to say a tornado or a bomb went off. Just <laughs> both. It's, it looks, both. It, it's a mess. Book yeah, nado. Book nado. God. Book nado. Like but, but for nerds. Book books. So, uh, he kind of walks in. Uh, mm, oh dear. Yes. Mm. I'm going to uh, ask the skeletons to bring up some chairs while I just go into the other study and, and grab grab some of the books. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just just look around. Um, try not try try to be careful. Some of the bookcases are a bit. Uh, they fall down, apparently. <laughs> and they kind of... I was about to say, a bit, a bit, a bit rickety. Mm, yeah, I suppose, yeah. I don't know how that one fell down. Just Easter, suddenly, uh... <laughs> bookcase on floor. And is sweating right now. He is not okay. <laughs> That His talk is going a million miles a oh, second. That's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> like Eleanor's just sitting there like, damn, calm the fuck down. <laughs> just 
Not even so, looking at him, just like, oh god, I I can't wait to get out of here. His, his heart rate. Right. A little head fucking hearts from the fast he's heart beating. There, there have been points in this kind of whole experience where his heart rate has uh has has um peaked. Peaked. Uh that one that Cad just commented on, very much one. Um, but yeah, after I about you, a minute. To be fair, I'm waiting to see the reactions to the children. <laughs> Daddy's gonna be like, "Oh, wow, well, oh, this, oh, that's it." <laughs> well, you know, that's it. It's a his... baby owl bear. <laughs> he has his own pets, and they are weirder than your pets. So, because like baby owl bear. Baby Griffin and Baby Snake. Yeah. No, the baby owl bear is definitely the most worrying part about that, because yes, it will eventually grow into a big owl bear. Yep. Yes. That is the point. Kylum is going to be a big boy. I'm like, I mean, yeah, that is boy. that is normally how biology works. Normally, sometimes. Yeah. So, it's the opposite. Says Jesus. fucking you. Apologies. Says you. <laughs> that, that's how biology works, you know, they just grow up normally. You fucking piece of shit. I had one hell of a gross fit, that's how I'm, that's how I'm defining it. Okay, well, uh, that's what I want Kylum to look like when he's an adult. I love the way you have Kylum adult. Yes. Okay, that's, that's, yeah, okay, that's quite cool. Um, so, after about 30 seconds, a minute, uh, some chairs have been brought out for you, uh, a little table is pulled to the side, and brings out about three, four books, uh, all on high-level necromancy spells. You spend a good while looking through, he spends the absolute majority of it, either, like, lost in his own world, staring at Filu, or reading the book, or explaining something that one of you don't understand about necromancy. Like, how, so how does this spell work? And he just goes, well, so basically, when this occurs, that causes this. So when this happens... So he goes into a really lecture. detailed explanation. Okay. Yeah. Literally, after, he's describing after the like, first or second dead. instance of this happening. Alado's just going to keep her confusion to herself. <laughs> <laughs> just be like, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna ask. I'll ask Eleanor. I'll ask freaking Angela when I get home. <laughs> yeah, honest. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna. Just... I don't know necromancy. Go ask someone that knows. No, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I did that, he went on a three-hour fucking tangent. He doesn't explain for like that long, but it's long enough for you like this was unnecessary. It's like I should have. Yeah. Most of, what you've, most of what you've said hasn't helped, but this part has, and I now understand. Um, you come to a couple of conclusions. The one that holds the most promise is a spell called Clone. The Clone spell creates a duplicate of um, of the person it is cast onto, or from, or whatever. Uh, What it does is creates an exact copy so that when the soul dies, sorry, when the body dies, the soul is transported into another exact, exact copy of the person. The other options, of course, are like a true resurrection, very high level spell, 
just a basic resurrection, but that requires um, that requires you to touch a dead person. And he was like, "Well, that doesn't really work because you know, if you just have the soul, like that's great, but you need actually something that you can, you know, bring back to life." Um, so, again, kind of the same thing with Eleanor's question to to him would be. How much of the body do you need for clone to work? Uh, clone, you need, uh, well, um, let me just see here. Uh, do it goes to full size. Uh, oh, the material cost has been put right at the bottom here. Uh, you need a diamond with about a thousand gold. Um, or diamonds, plural, that can be plural. And, uh, -huh. uh an inch of flesh. I have about half a vial of blood. Will that work? Oh. I don't think so. No. Unfortunately, I, I, I think the... Blood, blood works in, in many weird ways, you see. And actually, it's not one of my areas of expertise that's actually my neighbor um he works more in the in, in the blood department um but bl blood necromancy is, is very much all about the body like the soul has to be willing or, or gone but it's all about the body you know the body is such a such a big thing the blood is just sort of the life of the body you don't really need life when the body's dead, so go. It's 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 a bit of an awkward one. Um, I would probably suggest that it doesn't work because you know the blood isn't the part is is isn't the body, and I've never been able to raise like a blood zombie before or a blood skeleton. I'd like to try that would be really weird and potentially really cool. You know, a red skeleton that just walks around and starts carving into things. Yeah, but my whole thing is green, so that's. <laughs> You know, I've got some horrible knotweed that seems to grow at the back. I need to cut that down, and maybe a red something could really do wonders with that. Sorry, I got very distracted. Uh, I so know, what you're telling I, me is, go ask your neighbor. Uh, I could say that we could definitely loop him in. Um, he, he's 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 an interesting fellow. Uh, uh, has has very very unique uh, view on, on spellcraft. Um, doesn't really like to share so much, but likes to trade. So, you know, it, it, a like for like kind of can can work quite quite nicely. So, would you, would you like me to 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 introduce you to to um, to him? If, if he's going to be a lead on how to get him back, then yeah, honestly. Uh, yes. Um, should we, should, we, should we head up now, or, or is there anything else that, that I might be able to help with? Um, unless you know other ways of regenerating a body from half a vial of blood? Um, nope. I know how to, to, to carve a person's age. And, and, and slice it in, 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 into like two, make them make them as as, as old as, as as they would be. Why well, should just make them old? Then I say we go meet your neighbor. See right. if he has uh, any. Uh, 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 if if you guys are done with that particular conversation at this point would Angela have returned to the house uh yeah yeah um would she share what the purple wizard said about Ephelor and the other one I can't remember the name of a cane hey yeah um, Purple Wizard told you about some political movings uh, on the other side of the continent. Would you share that with... She's literally going straight to her room as soon as she goes comes back. She's not exactly in the happiest of moods right now, let's say. 
Okay, well, I guess if you're not telling me, I can't do anything cool. Bye bye. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's what she would do. <laughs> no, no I feel bad not telling you because I want to see the cool thing, but like. <laughs> well, the cool thing also requires your help. Uh, Angel's like, give me five minutes. Just like, <laughs> give, me at least, just, give me at it. least ten minutes with the fucking snow globe I've been given that has a, my friend chained up inside. You know, that's a very fair ask. Uh. Give me, give me a Arcana check, and I will mess with you something again. Alright. Uh, in fact, give me, give me two. Give me two, because I'm feeling generous. Nice. Um, both of those are plus nine to them, so... 25 and 13. Okay. I will send you a message. Might not exactly happen now, because I don't think it would help with your molding. But what? You can mold away. Um, my my Kane's molding is not not massively happening. I'm st I'm I'm no. kind of I'm kind of oh. out of character. I'm very much laughing at the hilarity that she's been put in the snow globe. Uh, <laughs> but I like Angela. Angela's molding, yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah, I get that part. I can definitely tell. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, is there anything else anyone would like to do? Or no. are we good to return to the Red Wizard? Um, I did want to quickly ask you a question. Uh -huh. Um, is there a library in this, like... Did I forget to press end? Fuck. I think so. <laughs> Take that as a yes, you did. Uh, Does that answer your question, <laughs> Loki? Okay. okay, well then I'll I will branch off the answer you just sent me. Um, yes. Gosh damn it. <laughs> um, I would like to go to said library mm -hmm. and look at the death records. Mm -hmm. Uh. Yeah, uh, the the librarian there, uh, very very helpful kind of old woman, um, uh, directs you to to like one of the the old scholars, um, kind of uh, beckons you over a little bit after finishing something that he was writing up. Goes, oh yes, uh, uh, young young one, what what appears to be your your request. What I, I heard from from the lovely secretary over there, Barbara. She's so nice. If I was Ooh. five years younger, um, sorry. Creepy um, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but what what was your request? Well, uh, I was wondering if you had any records from about. 20 years ago? Um, yes. I'm looking for my parents and God forbid their names be here, but I just want to check. Oh, I yes, I totally understand. That's... Well, I I hope that I will bring some form of closure, whether a lack of or actual closure here. Yeah. Right. So you say 20 years ago. Uh, um, yes. And you kind of walk into this sort of um, huge like hallway basically. There's about seven or eight different levels of huge tome that are like two foot, three foot big. Like height wise. You can't even see how deep they are. Um, and there's seven, seven rows of these stacked all the way up with who knows how many columns. He goes, right, yes, so 20 years ago. And he kind of, you're, as you're walking past, you're seeing like ones from 10 years ago. The next one is 100 years ago. The ones after that are like 
200 years ago. That one is just one specific month. And it's just a whole book, one month in one time, one, you know, and you're going through seeing thousands of books misordered. It just walks through and goes, no, oh, it's later than this. Much later. Ah, yes, here's the two. 20 is 20, 20. There we go. And it points up about five rows up, which is like a good 20 feet above your head kind of thing. Um, kind of drags over a ladder, clonks it down, looks at you. Mm. Do you think you could get that book, or do you need me to? I can do it for you if you'd like. <laughs> Thanks. My back isn't what it used to be, you see. It's, it's just up there. Right, it's the fifth one. It's next to the one that has the slightly green tinge. Uh, and it's yep. got an orange band at the bottom. Uh, no, it's the one to the right of that. Right? Yes, right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yes, perfect. Yes, bring it down. Good. Uh, this is a heavy book. This <laughs> is like this book. Um, it's it's a meter, like length. Kind of, it's it's big, big book. Uh, you just kind of have to slow carry it, kind of arching your back a little. Very like world's strongest man sort of look of it, where it's like, oh, I'm struggling to carry this. As you walk yeah. all the way to just a, a table, because yes, place it by here. Thank you so much for carrying that. Clunk, dust scatters everywhere. He opens it up, starts to flick through some of the pages, and kind of looks through. It. Right, so I'm I'm going to need to know their names, of course. Let's see if I can okay. find them in here. Um, from what I understand uh their names are lalisa and crystal whitlock lalisa and crystal whitlock yes okay of course i will um i'll take a look now thank you uh, begins to to look through um He flips through a couple of hundred, it feels like thousands of pages, skimming over names quicker than you've seen anyone read it ever. The man's just flying through it, going, nope, 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 not this page, no, none of these, no, not that one, no, no, none of these, no, and it kind of reaches the end of the book. There's just a couple of blank pages left at the end. Well, it, it, it does a, it does appear that, uh, that you're in a degree of luck. Um, but you 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 said twenty years ago. Do you do you know exactly twenty years, or is this after that? Well, point? it might be after that point. I mean. They went missing 20 years ago. I don't know if they had died immediately after or only recently. I I understand, yes. Right. He clicks his fingers, snaps, kind of claps his hand, and 20 uh, kind of uh, kobolds just saunter out from you don't even know where they just walk out and stand in front of him he goes right listen here all of you how old are they how old are all the kobolds i mean they're all like two foot tall so oh, i don't know how much <laughs> i don't know how much um loki or rather amir has had contact with Kobolds? I mean, yes, not at all, because they live underground, generally. Yeah, I don't um, think so. <laughs> yeah. This is weird. A bunch of, like, lizard men are walking around. <laughs> it's odd. Um, Interesting. Uh, 
Uh, so, yeah, oh. it, it's a very interesting experience for you. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, they, the, the guy kind of goes to them and goes, listen here. We're looking for... Uh, just say the, say the name again, boy. Uh, Lalisa and Christo Whitlock. So, you know the orders. We're looking for 20 years ago, anyone at all related to any of them names, even if it's first name or last name. We're going to find them. Now, go! And he kind of points out towards the books. And you see 20 two-foot-tall dragon people running all speed grabbing ladders trucking them across going up different things throwing them down to the ones at the ground they're picking them up lobbing them over these huge books that you struggle to carry all the way they are flying grabbing tossing catching one of them kind of hurts his foot but is still going full sprint back placing it in front of the old guy who every time a book lands he opens it skims every page and you're watching it you're trying to see like a single name and every time you're like alexander nope flip the pages fill it nope gone just flying through these rapidly about Five minutes later, they stop. The books stop. All 20 of the kobolds standing around. The old man kind of looks down and flips the final page. And sees right at the bottom. single name but Red. god damn well that I hate it <laughs> oh my god why did you just replicate the... the same sound I heard outside what the hell what the heck just happened what the fuck was I clicked on like <laughs> what did you keep clicking on me I, I, thought it went, I thought it went to the video. Oh my uh, god. I, I, I saw it to be a fucking video and I was like, oh, I thought that was. Oh my word. I genuinely thought that was. I was so confused. You fucking oh my, my, my heart! Face. I didn't even react to it. It's like, oh, why the fuck was that part of just, the video? Just the beautiful oh. suspense and then just that. Oh my god. <laughs> It's funny because the second I heard it start, I knew it was Caden without even looking. I didn't even know it was Caden for Discord. I thought it came through a video I just clicked on. Like... Uh, it's, it's okay, Caden, okay. but oh my Dude, god. I'm awake. <laughs> my heart. Bro. Wait, Bro. So, wait, so you clicked on the link and it said these my, right? My brother yes. in Christ, I forgive you. But please stop clicking on mysterious links. I on link, I want, I want to do it to my mates. Oh. Ah. oh. That was just coming to me. I did not know that was kind of did it. I was so confused. Funnily enough, that's going to be in the recording. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, we're going to get to relive that. Yippee. <laughs> well, I, I, I just realized, look at the duck clip. There's people, the duck clip is destroying bushes when you go through them. They're bending and snapping it. Literally, okay, Cad, you're gonna have to put a fucking loud, a loud warning around that time period, <laughs> just to warn people, be like... Who's gonna make it this far in? They might. We don't know, they might, but it's still nice to put a warning because that shit, it scared me! <laughs> Chuck? Alright. Oh, that's so good. Ah. Oh. Please, please, like, work out where the time, the, the flipping, um, 
exact Don't point of this like... and send it to her because that would be so funny. <laughs> or just send, don't watch um, like two hours, 30 minutes. <laughs> just don't watch that. Or just it's sound warning. Like that is so much louder when you open it by yourself. Fuck me. Or just send her a mysterious look. <laughs> okay, stop opening links. Can we go back to Andrew? Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> You anyway. saw that many posts, and you're like, "Oh yeah, sure, that's a smart idea, you fucking idiot." <laughs> hey man, what's up? It's not. A, it's not a big deal. Oh, so funny. Uh, Loki. Yes. You see your uh mother's name. wrote down seven years ago now there's a reason why everyone's kind of forced specifically the old man because he looks up at you and goes this is the first let i'm going to say the name wrong but lalisa Yes. Yes, okay, thank goodness for that. This is the first Lalisa that I've actually read in these past 20 years. But this isn't the last name that you told me. Right. I'm, to be honest, I'm not even sure if that is their last name. I just saw it written down in our house one day and thought it might be. I, 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 I what, would say I understand. Um, What's the last name? Oh gosh, let me remember what it is, because I have it wrote down, and I don't ah. remember. Uh, Marinex. I will send it in the chat. Bahia. So you heard the spelling there. Thank you. Okay. Um I can look into this if you if you wish. There are Please. Yeah. Um how can I contact you? Are you a, a resident at this fine city of ours? Uh, yes. I... Surprised. I just... You don't have a house number, which... You know what I realized? Very useful thing that I'm going to try to implement is house numbers. You could literally just say we live at the haunted house. I'm the haunted that. house? True. <laughs> yeah, we live in a new house, we bought the haunted one, and he'd go, Oh, okay. Um, yes. Right, yes, I will send correspondence there. As long as you're still living there, I could, as people leave quite quickly. I yes. think we'll be staying for a little. Uh, I see. Um, well, in, in any case, I am sorry for your loss. Thank you. Yes. Um, please come to the library again. I'll, I'll see what I can find and let you know. But um, yes, uh, have a have a good day. Uh, thank you for your help. What was your name? Sorry, ah. I didn't. Uh. The temptation to say bear loss right there was unbelievable, you guys. <laughs> um, unbelievable. No, uh, no, I'm... shut up, shut up. My name is is Bernard. Um, it's, it's good to yeah. good to see you. Meet you. Oh, sorry. Um, I will. What? What was I your name? I will come back. Oh, um, my name is Amir. 
Yeah, well, Amir, um, have, have a good day, you, 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 young sir. And um, you too. I'm, I'm sorry, there's nothing better here for you. It's yeah. the best I've heard in 20 years. Well, that's entirely depressing. And that doesn't <laughs> deal me with any joy. Bro, you're harshing my back. Um, <laughs> oof, oof, yes. I'll, I'll do some research. Um, he kind of clicks his fingers, claps his hands, and goes, Right, you know what we must do? Let's find some information, shall we? Oh, and he points down another kind of hallway of, of books, and the kobolds full sprint once again, start dashing down it. He kind of nods at you and slowly lumbers after them. So I'll then start heading my way back to the home. Sorry, <laughs> the yeah. dog. Amir, you need to control that dog of yours. He's killing a book over there, man. Like, you know. Bruce is just like... Sitting I feel like Bruce like, was like... <laughs> In my head, Bruce was told to be outside. He wasn't allowed in. <laughs> I can hear him right They now. always fight when I fucking go D&D on this voice chat. Specifically <laughs> this fucking voice chat. <laughs> so funny. Oh, gosh. It's like, he, it's like he's playing D&D. Quick, let's bite everything. <laughs> let's fight now. Yeah. Oh, oh, the gosh. call of the free XP. So, uh, anyone else got anything, or... Oh, there they are. They are actually just... Oh my first. god! Or a fault. They're just killing each other. Oh, they're, they're amazing. They're, they're shy. Wait, are they Yorkies? Oh. <laughs> well, if they are, oh, um, that makes sense. All the way over back, so it's even fucking louder. What, are, are they Yorkies? Or am I thinking of the wrong group? No, oh, sir. You're thinking of Westies. Westies. No, they're Oh, right, no, Yorkies are the fucking little the, the York, Yorkshire Terriers. Tiny. Yeah, they're a bit more yeah. chunky. No, Yorkies yeah. are fucking tiny and yappy. They get a little one. The ones that look old, even when they're young. You know, I'm locking most of my door, fuck it. I don't care if they're home alone. They can stay alone. <laughs> Gosh. It's like he locked us out! Completely off topic, I've got the Lonely Puppeteer. One of them's gonna open the door, so he'll probably end up opening the door. You got the what? The Lonely Puppeteer stuck in my head. Open the door. Where's that? That song that I sent you with Veronica, Summoner, and... Oh! <laughs> yeah, I know that one's easy to get in your head. Oh Sorry. Fair. But yeah, it's not a problem, guys, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good song. Be sure I said in like three weeks ago, we're gonna home, we're gonna do loads of fighting soon. <laughs> Lock or into the way. So, uh, I'm guessing Amir will return back to the home. Yeah. Yeah. Here's his way back. Bruce just asking you the whole way, like, Hey, Master, how did it go? I think we'll find out. Like, I... And I'm just trying to, like, explain all my problems, my thoughts, my everything just blurts out to him. Just let it all out. I am here for you, Master. I will look after you forever and ever. I will be your best friend. Oh, oh my God. My heart. <laughs> yeah, until you get hungry in the wasteland. I will eat you at the minute I'm entirely hungry. And I will let you <laughs> never turn your back on me. I am always a threat. See, he's he's always there for you unless you forget to cast the spell again. Yeah, pretty much. He's always there for <laughs> you <Someone>. or me. <laughs> the, the spell breaks if someone that. brings harm to him. As long as you feed me. Die! I will not feed forever you. be your friend. But the minute Yet. I am no I am hungry, I will devour your flesh from your bones. And it will be a glorious day, Master. 
So we I'm enjoy sure it while it lasts. <laughs> Remyu gets knocked out, like in a fight, <laughs> and then eight hours later wakes up without a fucking leg. <laughs> Guys, what happened to my leg? Or a role master, but I have to shoot <laughs> thigh bone. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yes, Amir and Bruce head their way back to the mansion. Uh, anyone else, or are we heading to Red Wizard? Why, guys? Why? He's... <laughs> I mean, he looks like he's having fun, to be fair. Yeah. Red I Wizard? Off, yes. I Red guess. Wizard. When the fuck so. killed it? It probably. Yeah. No, how is Katama killed her out? I know Lion's uh, kind of the group of... They're fucking... Hy I'm sorry, Hyena's are vicious. Yes, but it takes one kick from a draft to kill a Hyena. Their kicks are fucking deadly. Also, their neck swings are deadly as well. I know a Lion's can take on a draft if they team up. But, like, it's really risky. Yes. I... I would pick... Also... Uh, I had to calm down. What I was right gonna now. say. Sorry. If if you're if you're tired and needing bed bed bed, <laughs> little baby. Uh, wow. Bitch. Then we could end the session here, ready for next time to go to red, and then to head off into the world to potentially chase Iris. If if you're okay with that, yeah, we, we can I'm, I'm do fine red. With you doing if everyone's good, me. Yeah. Just, yeah. I'm good for another four. What's the right question? Now. Are we going longer? Is that what the question is? Yeah, it's probably the same thing. Basically. What, like 40 20 minutes? Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, I live in America. <laughs> It's Thank you very much. In the afternoon. You do? What's it like? Oh. It sucks, man. Kane died. Yeah, I can't go to bed. Can't can go to bed. Um, Is there anything poison, you it? guys would like to do before I end the recording and begin looking for the thing that made my heart stop? <laughs> no. So, uh. Once again, yeah. I'm really fucking sorry. No, it's fine, Cat. It's, it's fine. fine. <laughs> I I, it, 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 it took us all by surprise. Well, not even me. I saw it part. Of, I saw it part of the videos watching. Like I just, I've got Cad turned down. Oh no! Wait, wait Cad, you're two hundred percent. Wait, why is it not like really? Cad, wait. Maybe the original video. Let me know what the plan is. Hmm? Let uh, me know what the plan is. Yeah, but we, if 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 we want to end here, we can. If we want to keep going, I'm going to keep going. I mean, I feel we should get the I can, out of the way. I can stay and record, but uh, I do want to call it soon. Yeah. So, if you need me to stay and record, I am happy to do so. Yeah, okay. I feel like let's, might as well let's get the way to the next session. You want... can just get right into things. Yeah. Just a kid. If you're tired, you can just go to bed, Cat. No, no, I'll stay. I'll stay. Because, um. Okay. Let's go to our. Let's it, go to our. It's, it's half turn, so, like, okay. what, what's the point? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll go to half. Half past. Maybe a little so, longer if it. The three of you head over to the Red Wizard's little keep. He, uh, 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 Darius knocks on the door and goes, uh, "Some information for you before we, uh, before we head into here. Um, if I can find the pass of my ghost, um, his name is Aler Alaric. Okay, Alaric, Alaric." Alaric. I'm gonna introduce him. I'm gonna say, hey Alaric, so great to see you. I have some things for you to uh, that we need to discuss with something like this. And we'll take it from there. Cool. Yep, we'll be okay. Okay. Right. And he kind of knocks on the door. It's a couple of seconds. And then this kind of Interesting looking figure, white, white, white face. He almost, he stays 
Okay, he stares into the kind of shadows of his house as he opens the door. Kind of pulls it open and takes a step back. Hmm. Darius. It is good to see you. I suppose. What do I owe the pleasure? Well, um, yes, of, of, of course, Alaric. Um, it's good to see you again. Uh, I've brought two friends of mine that, that were quite interested in a degree of ne necromancy and, and returning people back to life. But the issue is, most of my spells require a physical, like, a corpse of some description. Uh, but all they have is the blood. A little, little, how much do you say? Like a half a vial of blood? Yeah, half a vial. Yes, and of course, your abilities, you know. I've, I've seen some of the some of the things you've done and thought, well, who else can I go to? But of course, the guy that loves blood so much. And all of, all of the, uh, all of the magic that you, uh, that you, you do. So, yes, um, can we can we have have, have maybe a maybe maybe a discussion about this? <sighs> he kind of turns to the two of you. So the two of you wish to manipulate blood. Is that manipulate it into becoming a person? Into a body, yes. I mean, you could just, like, make a scrap of flesh and then the clone spell would work. Yep, but I'm pretty sure it's clone the person that the flesh came from. We don't have Huck's flesh. That's, like, the blood. You turn the blood into the flesh, if it's possible, and then you clone the flesh. Sorry, I'm in a game. Bye-bye. Uh, I love that little goodbye at the end. That was funny. Uh, <laughs> right. Hmm. Come in, I suppose. Uh, he kind of gestures inside and then walks in in front of you. Kind of, uh, what's the word? Tele telepathically? No, uh, telekinetically brings over a table and chair and just places it. Down into just in the hallway that you're in. Um, sit down on one of the chairs. They are wooden chairs. They are the most back numbing, horrendous chair that you've ever sat on. Philo, I'm gonna let you know right now, none of you fits on this chair. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm standing. Yeah. Um, kind of. Looks at the three of you. Philo is used to standing. It's fine. <laughs> so, what appears to be the predicament? Um, a very dear friend of mine died, and his body got turned to dust, and all that remains of him is, um vial of his blood. I've managed to get his soul back, but haven't got a body for him to go into. Huh. Interesting. Wondering if this, you know a way can to... Can I see the blood? Yeah. She you will... place it on the table in front of him, or um, she she'll hold it out, but she'll be very hesitant to hand it over. I can't do much if I can't study it a little. Please, thank you. And as he kind of grabs it, hmm, interesting. He uncaps it, 
gives a little sniff. Kind of, he watches his fingers sort of. Apparently, he drinks the blood. Um, I think Eleanor would try to kill him if he did. Fingers toy with the blood, and, and you watch Is it kind of. Possibly, uh, it kind of writhes inside of the of the vial and, and twists and turns inside of it. Kind of hmm. interesting. This is not ordinary blood. This has been tempered. Yeah, I know. Modified, adapted, mutated horrendously. The artistry is awful. Frankly, it's disgusting. My <laughs> favorite of pretty much. Really. Where I did this was not clean as I could like. I'm sure this will be fine. And you kind of watch as it bubbles for a minute. Mm. Ah. Better. He caps the bottle. Oh, right. Puts it back in front of you. And it keeps one finger on top of it. That blood. Where did you get it? It was my friend's blood. He kept a vial of his blood in his pocket when he died. Listen, he was a strange man. He had vials of everybody's blood. And why would he want people's blood? Okay. He was a strange man. You can ask him when he's elect again. Um, I'm not technically lying. He was a very odd person. He's an odd man. <laughs> he, was. he looks over to Filu. And what's your play in this? He's my friend. I want to be able to help her get her friend back. Plus, spending time with my dear Darius. He raises an eyebrow and looks at Darius. Darius oh. is gone from the green oh. wizard to the red wizard. In the face. <laughs> Darius the player. Never thought I'd see you today. <laughs> Red Wizard goes, my boy. <laughs> my man, hell yeah. Uh, I was thought you put Fred to play with your little toys. I, well, I mean, that's that's a trifle. I don't like that. First of all, they're not toys. They are creations. They are beautiful. Um, you know, they, they are my babies. They are my babies, and I, I love them. Because they're his children. <laughs> I love them, and I, I, I cherish each and every one of them. I give them all their own little names, and they work hard for me in my garden, in my house. You know, and they are good, strong workers. People look down on them because they're dead, but that's fine. They're strong. I like them. So, yeah. Great, then. Philo yeah. can't talk, because she can also do similar abilities, so she can't talk. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> he kind of just turns away from Darius back to Eleanor. <sighs> okay. Unfortunately for you, blood magic only works on things that are living. 
The blood itself does not live. I have nothing to offer you. Well done. All right. I guess I'll try my luck elsewhere. Yes. Good luck. Oh. Something I should mention. You, you, what the fuck? Um. Yeah, um. So. <laughs> Sadie was a strange Wait, you're fucking your blood? Yep. Yeah. And Eleanor would actually be carrying those things around. You think of blood. Um, like I said, he was a strange man. I'm holding on to his things for him. I don't mean the vials. Mm. Get out of my in, castle. I've been in a lot of fights. Oh, I imagine. Darius, mm -hmm. it's been a pleasure as always. I hope that you and your friends can work out a way of bringing back your dead and good pet. Mm, I Have a good I day. Anything but my weapon. Goodbye. Toodles. It's just and like, get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> and he will... He will literally push Remember, the three of you up off your chairs and ten feet away. He said he likes... Yes, I'm going. I'm going. He said he likes to trade. Do you have anything that would be worth it for him? No. Blood. <laughs> a whole lot of blood. To be fair, those are interesting bloods, so... Mm. They're not my things to give away. True. Dragon so, blood. Not mine to give away. You... I'd... I'll push out the door. <laughs> if you guys leave, the door will be shut behind you. Well, I, I don't think he wants to speak to us. Do you, do you want Huckman back, or do you want to keep his things? Like, I just don't get the logic there. Do you want to just have a mento, or do you want the actual man? You commune with Huck right he, now, because <laughs> he'll tell you the answer what he uh, wants you to do. Point of interest, Roman. He never, he never said he could do anything. He said, "I can't do anything for you. Leave." He can't. <laughs> Like, you then going, hey, I can give you a vial of blood if you can do something. And then he goes, I can't leave. I, it, still, he doesn't seem it, like those. <clears throat> if you asked a bank for a loan and they said, we have no money to give you, leave. You're not going to go, hey, but I have money to give you, so you should give me a loan. You'd just leave. I'm just trying... Um. A question for Darius. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, yeah, yes, yes, of course. One of the spells, um, I don't remember what the name of it is, could regenerate a body from pretty much nothing. As long as you had uh, some uh, of it, right? Yes, there are, there, there, are, there are a couple of rules on rules. Why did I say that so weirdly? There are a couple of rules on how, how, how those types of spells work. Um, if memory serves, that's a regeneration spell. Uh, but right now, I actually cannot find it in my spellbook called D and Beyond slash Spells. Um, Interesting spellbook here. I'm sure that'll take off. Thank you. By the way, who uh, am yes, I? <laughs> <laughs> I? Told you I, I had a soul. You. Thank you, kind sir. Um, And unfortunately, the regenerate spell. Um, gosh, you touch a creature, and it it, it stimulates natural healing ability. Um, the blood doesn't particularly have a regenerative, in a complete sense, ability. 
Um, it's also interesting that that's a transmutation spell. Because uh, what the... Okay. Apparently um. transmutation is, 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 is a potential option, but I don't, I don't know much about that type of magic. Are there any other ones? Because I... I'm, I'm wondering if we can just make a body with this. Make a body with, with the blood, have it start to get some blood. Uh, what the fuck is that? Why do I say there are some spells in here that I've never seen before? Um, I don't think so, but I don't know every spell in the world. I don't even know every necromatic spell. Also, you can create your own necromatic spells. I do have very, very powerful mentor who'd be able to. Uh, uh, what? Be it the uh, cast of necromancy? It's in his blood. I'll say. In his. Well, oh, uh, right. Oh, I, well, basically, I'd, 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 I'd love to meet this uh, person. Uh, sorry, I, I I don't know many many famous necromancy wizards. Certainly, of the recent few a few hundred years, that at well before that, you kind of had all of the you know evil bad guy ones, but they got sent up past the uh, past the barrier. Um, Yeah. Well, hopefully you'll get to meet him someday soon. I mean, oh, good. Do you want to make a war for to put his stuff in there? <laughs> that would be putting him from... That would literally be putting him from one body into the next. We're looking for a permanent fix for both of them. Yeah. And I like hey, my magic work. <laughs> Listen, I tried. You didn't let me. <laughs> you know, like, considering what was what else was in that vial, you know, once I once that version dies, we will get a second ring that communicates with her. Yeah. Wow. If you, you combine all seven rings, <laughs> like chaos. <I'm> like. <laughs> yep, my head went to fucking Horcrux. Oh god. <clears throat> Via. Eleanor, after not getting anywhere, will go to Judas and will literally be like, Listen, we need to make a spell. <laughs> you know magic. I Bro, magic. I need you to invent magic for me. <laughs> and get on she, it. Back. She doesn't quite understand how difficult it is to make a spell. Yeah. So she's literally just going to sit down when she gets home and she's like, Judas? Got Noah with the Necromancer and probably Blood Mage. Um, we need to make a spell and fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good luck with that. Well, uh, yeah, Darius kind of looks at you guys and goes, well, all I can say is I'm, I'm sorry that, that he was entirely uh, unhelpful. Um, Somehow I'm genuinely not surprised, but thank you for the help. Uh, yeah, uh, no, no, uh, right well, uh, absolutely no problem at all. Any, anything for, for, for a friend of, uh, 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 of Miss Lulu's. Um, uh, uh, would, you, would you like some, some, like a drink or, 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 uh, or some... So, would you like to see my garden? <laughs> so I, Eleanor's just like, oh. I think I'll do a bit more research on. Oh yeah. On yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, of course. Your your your, your friend. Yeah. Would you like a tulip? <laughs> you like tulip? I cannot offer your friend, but I can offer you small flower. Um, 
yeah, you, uh, go ahead and, and re I'll, I'll see if I can find anything. Maybe maybe contact some of the the other members of the council. See if they can work out anything. Um, if you can, that would be fantastic. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Of course. Um, of, of course. Um, uh, uh, Lulu. Mm hmm Would 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 you um? You 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 know you always can, and and it doesn't have to be like exactly today. But would you like to? Uh, you know, come, come, come and, 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 uh, 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 Fuck no. uh, uh see, see, see my gun? The more you say it, the more it sounds like a like, euphemism. <laughs> like, all I can say is, as soon as Oliver was turned away from the green wizard, and is just looking at Afilu, she'll hold up her little finger. <laughs> Just implying what? Around. Completely oh. wrapped around his little finger. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Well, why do you think I put the whipped gif in the chat earlier? Yeah, just like. <laughs> well, okay. Is Eleanor? Is it? Is Eleanor going to be doing research in his oh, mansion but... or leaving? If she's allowed to take some books with her and just study at home. Yeah. I mean, he, he'll he'll let you. You're you're evidently a friend of his Lulu's, so which of course isn't my loot. Like you're your own person, and, and that, that, that's fine. But um, anyway, just don't ruin them. Because <laughs> then my reputation is on the line. Listen, I won't spill a thing on them. Comes like with blood, just coated. Like yes, yeah, sorry. To be honest, it's like a beer. <laughs> so, um, I, I would assume while Eleanor is going to gather whatever book she can find to borrow, that Darius would kind of. A puppy dog drag you to uh, to see his garden. Yes. <laughs> just, like, just goes home with an armful of books. Feel it don't be too long. <laughs> <laughs> so, Eleanor runs off with the books. <laughs> like, yeah. Vanishes they, into thin air as soon as she leaves the door. Pretty, the Darius turns around and goes, yes, it was great to... She is fast. She's very. She is she's, gone. She's very fast. This is an important thing for her, so she's not wasting any time. Eleanor is just around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> no, not even hiding. She just goes she, back she's not to even out. normal. <laughs> she's, like, she's not even out the front, like the front yard yet. She's still just. She she's gone back to her normal. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah, he, he he takes you around the garden, shows you some of the plans that he has. It's like, hey, I want to make it like a little orchard, you know. I want to start making, you know, my own, my own kind of. Uh... You should make your own mead. Uh, what I was I was gonna go for, I I had this brilliant drink called cider. I was thinking, yes, I should definitely like produce more of that. That was delicious. Uh, then I was also thinking, well, I can branch off of that, and I can make some apple crumbles, you know, some apple pies, and create like a Did say apple... Did anything alcohol-related, and I know the perfect person to test it for you. Oh. <laughs> that implies that you have an alcoholic as you one of your friends. I um, wouldn't say he's an alcoholic, he just enjoys... Ellen has been drinking out of a flask this whole time. <laughs> no, she hasn't drank a drop. Ellen Eleanor has not drunk a thing. <laughs> she has specifically avoided drinking anything around other people. <laughs> She's just been nursing glasses of water and pretending to drink them. Yeah. 
Yeah, but what's wrong with being an alcoholic? It's not like we have studies in this. <laughs> oh no. Dev Devonis isn't an alcoholic. He's just Drinks a drinking enthusiast. Oh yeah. A drink Show me some evidence. A drinking... And not actual evidence. I didn't say drinking was bad. I said he's a drinking enthusiast. I mean, I threw oh. up last night because I drank. So you know, I'm, I'm on my way. Oh my god. Drinking is bad, then why does it make me feel so awful? <laughs> <laughs> Checkmate, atheists. This is what God intended. I'm his strongest drunk driver. What? The most uh, strongest drunk driver <laughs> in a time when cars are... I was gonna say, stop incriminating yourself on, on stream. Okay, first of all, Cad, did you see the video that was going around about the person that nearly killed their boyfriend? No. Around the whole of Grove, because it's funny. I'll speak about that after the session. Hilarious. Um, <laughs> absolutely hilarious. Uh, side note, uh, Darius kind of goes, oh, a, 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 a friend. It's a male. Um... It, Oh no, he's jealous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, for sure. When I when I start to make the the the, the, the drinks, then you know, just I'll fired. fired help. I'll um, I, I'll be sure to let you and and, and then obviously your your your, your friend know. Um, so yes. <laughs> the Virgin Darius versus the Chad Devonis, <laughs> where he walks in. <laughs> uh, gosh. So yeah, uh, he continues taking you around and explaining like all of his plans in his garden, talking about how you know the cycle of life and death, like regrowth afterwards, and it's such a, it's such, it's so synoptic with. With necromancy, that you know, you, life ends, death happens, but then from death you can create a new life. And that new life is often stronger than the old life. You know? And kind of really promotes necromancy to you. Uh, Bro, like CK3. Hold on. Question, is there any... Any visible bones or anything? There'd be a couple of dotted about um, in the garden, yeah. You know? Just from like ones that he hasn't yet reanimated and stuff. I'm gonna cast animate dead on a pile of bones. <laughs> okay. Uh, how long does it take to cast? One minute. <laughs> so, you'll give me a minute. Gonna... <laughs> so, we watch as Filu kind of spies them. Goes at, like classic Filu. There he is, darling. Just hold on a minute. Kind of turns and starts praying and like really <laughs> casting the spell. And he's just sitting there going, "What is she doing?" Philo be like, give me a minute. <laughs> Next minute. <laughs> the new HD. Uh, and after after about thirty seconds or so, it's like, oh wait, wait. There was a That's interesting. And you cast the spell and. The skeleton kind of raises up from the pile, walks over to you. Um, right, let's make a roll for how he reacts to this. Uh, what am I? I'm going to roll at disadvantage because he's completely infatuated with you as it is. Um, this is not going to help. Um, <laughs> Okay, that's a natural two, and that's a ten. Um, 
you watch as Darius watches the skeleton rise up and walk over to you and you kind of finish casting the spell and you're looking at it and you're like yeah that seems to be working fine the spell's casted good and you turn to your right and in a pile of leaves that have kind of been pushed aside knocked out or fainted is Darius just there oh dear lying down You really wowed him with this one, love. I was gonna say, he's still alive, right? I can still see that he's breathing. He's dead. You killed him. Now he's alive. <laughs> it's like, oh no. Oh shit. Time for me to wear a green cloak. <laughs> Just clutch the ground. She's religious. Nah! <laughs> Like, Feely just, like, gets down on the ground the best she can and, like, gently, like, give, gives him a little shake. Darius, are you alright? Uh, it takes you a little bit of time to wake him up. Um, but he kind of wakes up. After a second, uh, after a minute, and just looks at you and goes, hmm. Ah, Lulu. It's such Hello. a lovely dream. Uh -oh. You were uh -oh. there. Bad move, bad move. Was... <laughs> Run away! <laughs> there was Keraton. We danced. In the garden. Come back to reality, darling. I think he likes his garden a bit too much. It's a red flag. <laughs> it's a red flag. The fact that he's a necromancer should have been the red flag. <laughs> Usually necromancy is bad. Oh, yeah, no, exactly. I, there was nothing wrong with Abria. He's just a good boy. Okay, come on now. Come on, I can't, you can't even say that with a straight face. I'll be right back. She was, she okay. was fine. Uh, also, I'll be calling yeah, in like four uh, minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Don't worry. I'm, I'm wrapping. Yeah. What are you wrapping? A gift? Cuts and cuts and cuts and cuts. Oh. Anyway, um, Who's in Paris? Uh, Nigel. Um, Farage? He won. <laughs> For goodness sake. Uh, yeah, he kind of wakes up and looks at you and gets rather embarrassed, realizing what he's just done. Um, oh, oh, uh, I, oh. You are the one who... Whoops. Devils um, in the dead. I, uh, how, I, is, he kind of looks over your shoulder. Good skeleton. Thank it's, you. Yeah, uh, it's it's good. It, uh, good walking movement. It's it's good that it's um. I must have been the skeletons either just standing there or wandering around. It, it yeah. Um. <laughs> I need sleep. Um, yes, I, I, I think you've had a rather long couple of days, and me doing that can't help. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I. He kind of gets up and brushes himself off at all. Um. I. I do, I do have, have, have something, something for you though, um, uh, uh, it, um, close, close your eyes. Feely closes her eyes. <laughs> you kind of hear him kind of jog a little way to his right. You hear the bone walk of a skeleton across the grass. 
Yeah, that. Yeah, no, no, that. Yes, that. Good. Yeah, thank you. Yes, good. I uh, now please continue. Yes, but Tintin. Good. Thank you. Kind of comes. <sighs> comes back over. And, um, kind of goes up. Uh, uh, oh, open. Op open your eyes. Philo opens her eyes. <laughs> And kind of is, is sort of doing the classic sheepish look to the left, down to the ground, away from you, and holding out just a pair of roses, a couple of pairs of roses, pass it over to you. Um, <laughs> say, cut. <laughs> pass it over to you, and goes, I, I hope you, you uh, accept. Um, Except these, um, I, th I think you're great, and and and, and don't pretty. Um, so so yeah. Uh, th thanks. I'm sorry, darling. I'm sorry, darling. I've been keeping it from you. There's lift cloak. <laughs> I just can't hide it anymore. Anyways, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, you have eight thighs, I can make this work. <laughs> Damn, that's more than I ever could have hoped for. Jeez. No. What the heck? Yeah, he's, he stands there holding out the roses, kind of looking away. Feedly takes the flowers. Um, yeah, uh, uh, Great, I'm going to, I'm going to go to bed. Uh, okay. See you soon. Love you. Bye. Um, and he kind of... Oh. Walk, run, jog. Soft. I'm starting to feel bad yes, for this guy. He did, he did slip a love you in there, yes. I feel real bad for this guy. I feel so <laughs> bad. I won't. I, I listen. Mans is digging his own grave. <laughs> digging up all the peoples too, apparently. I love him so much. He's no, making his he's making his bed and now he has to lie in it. <sighs> oh, we must find this man or woman other than Philo by the end of this campaign, or I will not. I, no, wait, hey, listen. Maybe he's into that. Maybe Philo is into this. Maybe they're having a. Maybe they're hitting it off for real. You never know. I mean, uh, <laughs> would you go, what's your input? I'm a pop off man. Okay. Yeah. Shall we campaign call wrap? Please. Campaign wrap. Session wrap. Not campaign. Yeah. Gosh. Jesus. What? They're all dying. They're all dying one by one. They're all gone. <laughs> Ruben. Ruben, I think I'm next. 